everyone, and welcome to another episode of Dreams of Silver and Stone, brought to you here by these wonderful individuals around the table. Surprise, surprise. Yes, I know. And uh, you may see that we have a different face today uh, playing Kiara, so uh, that will be explained shortly. Um, at the moment, however, we're going to go around the table. We're going to have you all just say one nice thing about each other, and then we'll jump into the game. Because I like forcing uh, all of you to, to get along. All That's of us? All of you. Well, just one of you. Just to say one nice thing about one person. Roll it at random. Oh, I, I will roll it for you. We haven't done this before. Okay, here we go. First one okay. to go tonight is going to be... Five, five, eight, one, five, one, two, three, four, five. It's you, Nova. It's you, Shannon. It's you, Glitz and Gamer. You get to say you. something nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is going smashingly. You get to say something nice about Rob tonight. I just love how planned oh. this intro is. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're we're just nothing if not put together. Something nice Meticulous. about Rob. Yep. Um, um, um. There's so many nice things about Rob. One watermelon shirt. I mean, yeah. it's superficial, but I love it. Um. Uh. There's charisma, and there's there's the beautiful brain of his, and the creative storytelling. Um. And yeah, lots of things. Is that enough? That's more That's than probably one. probably more I'm than fine. one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I don't know. You for I guess that. we have to roll to find out. I don't know. <laughs> Rob's like, keep going. It's All fine. right. And we're just going to roll from Rob's yeah, position totally. to see uh, to see what he has to do. Say nice things about uh, one, two, three, four. Steven. Rob, you're oh. saying something nice All about right. Steven. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I am Rob. Uh, Rob, be rolling. But tonight I'll be not clay probably most of if any of the session but i'll be um garrett and we'll see how it goes <laughs> and uh i mean what what can i say about steven that hasn't already been said the pure the man whose life has a high production value is i feel like a really good way of just putting it um and uh that isn't just effortless it shows how much you care and the passion you have for you know making things of quality and of making things beautiful and that's so cool. nice rob thank you <laughs> oh, i feel like an asshole for mine now <laughs> <laughs> all right steven you're saying something i guess we're just going in order at this point steven you're saying something nice about sanan Sanan! Okay, well, I am El Devian Devil, Steven. Hello. Sanan, you crazy, crazy bastard. <laughs> no, I, lo um, I love how random you are and how into character you can get. Your little nuances of your characters are insane, and your quippy little instincts of relating to things. Just, uh, you have a sharp wit and a great humor, and uh, you're just entertaining as hell to watch, and I appreciate that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And yes. I guess that means, uh, Sanan, you gotta say something nice about Strat. Oh, God. Strat. Oh, my God. Every game with you is a blast. Your sense of humor never fails to make me laugh. And uh, and if I wasn't on camera, I'd probably be on the ground, like, laughing and bawling. Uh, and, yeah, just playing off of you uh, and role-playing with you is just always such an experience. So I feel all the uh, wide dictionary of emotions uh, whenever I play with you, from fear to, like uh love to god damn it this guy to <laughs> my god this guy's the best uh like lo love playing with you i like you're you're the best and i will not have uh my stream uh streaming role playing games any other way without you <laughs> that's yes. nice that, to, to i think hear. i worded that weirdly because uh awkward foreigner did to do me uh but you guys get the just the whole yeah. range of emotions between you and Strat. It's beautiful. Uh, Strat, uh, I guess you could say something nice about Glitz. <laughs> oh, want me to say something nice about you, and you can say something nice about Glitz? Okay. Well, here you have the man, the, the myth, the legend, but the kind of 
uh, hipster legend that you need to be really, really cool to know about because he's sadly uh, unknown in these parts of the internet. The hard work, the entertainment, and the dedication that that is needed not just to make a game, make several campaigns, pu uh, publish them, well, not publish, yeah, publish them, and place them on Fantasy Grounds and then uh, export them to Fantasy Unity is the amount of... Uh, work that I wish I could do in like uh, in my life it's it's not that hard <laughs> thank you wow. Scott. you're just gonna sit here and lie right I'm just, yeah, yeah, I guess I'm, like whatever. That. Okay. hey hey no pff, ick, this wasn't about me uh and uh, I guess I'm saying something yeah, nice is. about Shannon in return so you have pretty eyes you're also official <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> you're also uh, the reason. I was reason... born with them. Thank you. You're also the reason this whole thing happened. This whole thing continues to happen, and I am incredibly blessed to have you in my life. So, just oh, so you're all aware, if you enjoy playing games with me, you got to thank her for allowing me to even do this. So that's not even allowing, allowing. but not allowing, but facilitating. Me being able to. You permission. It's That's fine. it, Tyson. You're grounded. I, I'm, I'm so totally. I just, you, should, you don't have to see the ball and chains around my legs. I'm just tied to whatever she wants me to be tied to. I'm just lucky enough yeah. that she tied me to yeah, the desk. Yeah, well, it's Tyson. right to the desk. <laughs> wow. It's a little far. I'm sorry. Uh, let's restart this episode. That's for patrons uh, only. Okay. That's for patrons only. All right. So, uh, off of that cuff. Uh, <laughs> we see all of our party members Kiara standing in the midst of the bridge rain pouring down Nova nearby that strange dwarf had like pointed and and stated that uh, he would seek uh, Nova again for some reason uh, the dwarves that were there two remaining after the forces had started to collapse held their hands up and uh, and sur had surrendered you'll have to decide what to do with them shortly um and uh, know who, of course, you're riding upon the back of your your trusty friend, uh, a big, uh, you know, praying mantis creature that seems to be chomper. eyeing. Yeah, chopper seems to be a chomper as uh, eyeing these dwarves very hungrily. And Kaizen, you're off to the side. You had been puppeting Clay for a period of time, um, but in a brief moment, you see Clay's eyes open. He howls out in laughter once more, and as Kiara's standing next to him, she like looks at him and tries to get him to wake up. And as she smacks his cheek, you see her collapse to the ground, and so does Clay. Oh, uh, I I think we have a problem over here. I I I did not do that. That that one's uh, not me. Mm hmm. Kaizen, what? did you shoot them with an arrow? <laughs> I'm sorry, I did. I haven't mentioned it before, but I'm very sorry about that. No, I didn't shoot them with an arrow. <laughs> it just, 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 just collapsed. Now we have two of them. What are we going to do? How are we going to move them? Clay, an intense... Can I check up on what... Can I see what's going on with uh, Kiara? You walk over to where they're at, and Clay, with an intensely painful sensation, you feel way out of it. Your mind is a bit muddled. You remember being really tall on a bridge and then just getting super lightheaded and passing out earlier. Occasionally you've woken up and every time you have, you've been filled with this bubbling madness, this laughter that seems to just flow out. And uh, now as you're staring up at the sky, it's strange. It's brighter than it was before. Has daytime progressed? Are you in the morning now? It's still raining. And as you kind of feel around, you recognize that you are still on the bridge. So that's strange. Um, as you look over, you see Patchy and everybody coming over. And to all of you, Kiara turns and stares at each one of you. Uh, hello? Uh, are you going to punch me? What? Um, what? What? Um, what? As you look oh, down, okay. you see that you're in, your body seems to have changed in its dimensions. <laughs> um. Booby. Clay fully thinks this is a hallucination and fully <laughs> thinks he's gotcha, he fully thinks lucid dreaming is happening and is just gonna like just gonna just gonna like point in a direction say chiss and then just walk forward thinking he'll just 
show up to his son because <laughs> it's he's lucid dreaming. Well, you uh, state that, and you immediately walk in a direction, finding yourself going over the bridge, Mr. Magoo style, uh, as you go walking ah! over the edge. So catch you see, him, you see <laughs> Kiara just turn and start to like walk off the edge of the bridge. <laughs> Uh, who's closest? I guess we can all try to go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, everybody is nearby. Lunch. Roll agile for me. Yeah. And uh, as you do that, we, we move over to Nohu, who's still sitting upon Chompy. The two dwarves are like cowering before you both as Chompy kind of like moves forward and <laughs> tries to eat them. You're now having to force this creature not to have lunch, by the way. Oh, well, we, uh, we did oh, kill yeah. one of them. So I can send Chompy over to that one before. Uh, but before I do that, I'll uh, disarm them. I'll tell them to drop everything you have and kick them, kick, kick it over here. No explosions, buddy, or you're gonna be just like him. And I point, point over to the dead guy. The uh, dwarves are in no mood to have a continued fight with the rest of the crew, which was proved to be very capable. So they toss aside a couple of knives, uh, their firearms, a rifle goes down, and a small bag of explosives. All right. Hmm. I could give this to the group, but uh, they seem to be worried with something else. I'll just throw the the guns over to the to the river, and I'll keep the explosives. All right. Yeah. So you kick the guns over towards the river and keep the explosives. As you're turning, uh, Nova and Patchy, you both critically failed. Uh, do you want something that impacts yourselves or all of those around you? Myself. I'm about to die. I, <laughs> so uh, I, um, what I'm hearing is I can try and grab the guns as I also fall off the yes, bridge. Yes, that is true. <laughs> cool, Kaizen cool. got uh, a 22. Kaizen did. Uh, Kaizen's going to be grabbing Kiara, but it uh, depends on what everybody else does. Patchy's going to use an ace. Oh, much better. I, 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 I hate this. <laughs> why, why, why are you losing my ace in the first five minutes? <laughs> uh, sorry. That's Nova, uh, so you're going to have something that impacts you greater. Correct? Yes. All right. Uh, as you leap to try to grab Kiara, Kaizen accidentally bumps you and Patchy hits you from behind as you're all lunching at the same time and Nova gets tossed head over heels into the river below as you grab a hold of Kiara and pull them back. Nova is always falling head over heels. Girl um, needs to get herself together. Claire is going to be oh, wait, super wait, wait, helpful. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. Can, can, can I use my mantis uh, legs that are still on, probably because it's still the scene, to try to reach her? Like, uh, use it as a, like a strength thing? Oh. It looks like everybody plus has one. been given a plus one. Uh, th this one is a banked plus one. You can use it at any point in the future. Thank so you, all Sherry. those, write those down. Thank you very much, McSherry. Uh, so you're going to try to use your mantis arms to grab her. This is no longer the same scene. They're starting to fade away, crack, and, and dishevel. They're weak. But you can try to grab her if you roll a high enough agile roll. Where'd it go? Oh, Just right off the screen. That was a 17. <laughs> Into the nether. Uh, <laughs> it was almost another one. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Roll for the damage of your claw and you will grab her. Oh my god. But, but they're weak. Don't I get a minus to the damage? You said they were yes, weak? Yes, it will be minus two to the damage. Nothing. Oh, thank you. But a scratch. Only a flesh wound. All right, Nova, you're gonna get hit in the right right leg for nothing. For that's the one I three I points want. of damage. That's the lowest you can possibly do with that. You do have armor on. That would knock it down to two. Damage. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, that was gonna be mine. Uh, wasn't that gonna be minus two? Did that end up being that was plus two? I assume. that was minus two. It's normally one d twelve plus four. Oh, okay. Never mind. So, Nova, you're going to take two damage, and your armor will take a hit, or you're going to have another have one. wound. It is plus three. Okay. Whatever. Bye. Thank you for saving me. All right. So you're taking the two damage? Uh, um, these things hurt. That's fine. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, so you're down to three health, uh, and uh, your armor has taken a hit. So that metal armor you've got, there's a scrape and a squeal noise as the bladed end, basically, of one of these claws, these scything claws, comes out and just digs into your heel, and you feel a sharp, piercing pain as, as you're suddenly dangling over the bridge, held by a hook, basically. Look, it's either that or the slugs! It's fine! All right, Patchy, really? if you'll give me a strong I got roll. a heal! You did get a theory. heal! <laughs> 1d6 plus 2 or plus 1 
Six health back puts you at nine. Um, Thank you. That's that's a nice. seventeen. But I also have a plus. Don't I have a plus two on my strong from last game because of uh, because of the my potion. The that potion that's that's diminishing yeah. too as the scene is fading. I'll give you a plus one on that. So that's twelve. That is enough to lift Nova though. Uh, let me actually double check that. Yeah, that light armor is actually very light. You're not carrying a whole lot of stuff on you. So so you're able to just, you know, you're digging your heels in and you're pulling as hard as you can and you're able to bring Nova back up on the edge through that intense pain in your ankle, unfortunately, though, Nova. It doesn't hurt. The fates smile as Destiny gives you a, a bit of a regen boost. Some sort of uh, body magic must have flowed through the area at that point in time. You see some of your wounds fade away. Who's Destiny? I thought it was McSherry. <laughs> it's Mc. <laughs> it's the <laughs> Eternal McSherry is following your party around. McDeskcherry. That Good sounds man. like desk cherry. I don't like that. Eternal that I want around. Cherrywood desk. Now I I need to take a second as my bones get back to their original place. There's now a loud <laughs> as the end of the uh, ah! the blade like breaks off as your mantis arm is gone. <laughs> Um, two guns go right past you all into the water where they immediately just get pulled away by the sloughing debris and all the bits and pieces of, of stone and tumbling wood and all kinds of refuse and detritus that's everywhere. So, Kiara, why are you trying to magoo off bridges? Oh, I would have thought you would be my innocence, but maybe you are caution? Mm. What? Are you feeling okay? Hmm. Okay, I understand. So you are not trying. Oh, this isn't. This is not what I thought this would be like. Mm. She said more words in the last two seconds than she's had since I've known her. I'm quite concerned. Do we need to smack her to wake her up? What is going on? Um. The way she's speaking, I feel like my beret would fit her better. This. <laughs> this is we? um. Okay. See, I did not think it. Uh, it is. Why did I? I don't know. Prepare to elaborate. You're speaking yeah, so much. Yeah, Use you your words. Like how to sit or... Oh, do you do not don't present like you. We're all in my head here. Don't worry. That okay. I know that it's probably hard on you to watch Clay be unconscious, and I understand that. But this is really not okay to go walking off of bridges. Is all that's. You process however you need to process, but that's not okay. Uh, and and you see Kara kind of like nod. Uh, of course. Nova, I am total. I agree. Um. Let's um, go over there. Did you say my name so... No, I'm simply speaking to Nova. Correct. Great. Patchy, what did you do to Kira? I didn't do anything. I didn't give her anything. Did I? Did I am, I, am I misremembering events of the past episode? You didn't give anything I, uh... to Kiara, but you did give something to Clay, and that uh, might have something to do with this. Well, I would know my side effects a little bit. What is happening? Uh, the, it was consumed with a um, mind mixture, mind and body mixture of side effect that transferred the individual's consciousness through their laughter when close enough to the target. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, yeah, so uh, I made that all immunity booster with some of the mushrooms that, that, that are around my scene. Some of them have a little bit of a mind-altering powers. Uh, some of the youth love it around here. Um, but, like, also some of them have, like, a weird giggling effect. I think those might have had a weird little combination. Since these two are really close, I think their mind might have uh, mixed. And it's temporary. Also, these two are friends. I bet they don't mind. Um. So, Clay, did you get that? You're in Kira's, Kiara's body? No. Is that yeah. sound right? I think that's I'm, I'm Kiara Nova, of course. No. Wait. This no is one's... like the biggest, like, 
Uh, it's, forced it's not, smile. Not convincing. I'm so confused. Um, I mean, I can, I can, you know, so, knock them out, and we can, like, you know, carry them easily that that way. Wouldn't it be when, easier when to have them walk? Like, I don't think this is how this is supposed to work. How is this supposed wait, to wait, work? Wait, you know uh, what? I just Nova slaps Kiara. You're not dreaming. <laughs> That is what you would say. Oh my God! Uh, this is a dream. Uh, come with us to the to the to the magical dream castle. There is uh, so many dreamy, beautiful dream things that you want your subconscious wants there. Come on, follow us. Also, we gotta do something about these uh, these dwarves. Actually, I forgot about them. Man, I, going to a dream castle? I didn't know my. I don't know what 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 do dream people say? I, I haven't really dreamt in, like, years. Man, I did not know I could be disappointed about the efficacy of my subconscious. I hope that... I... Oh. Well, we, we... He, 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 he's rating us now for, as dreams now. Ah, okay. <laughs> Everyone's a critique. Well, I'm sorry I'm not a satisfying dream, okay? But we still need to go. Well, I got, I got, I got Patchy on. <laughs> I got him right. That's good. So now is Kiara the one who's in danger and needs the healing? I'm um, so confused. I, I think they both kind of, like I, we, we need to heal Clay's body, and once wow. that happens, I'm sure they will, you know, shift back. Um, and in the meantime, I think we're talking to Clay, even though it's in Kiara. He's in Kiara's body. So, uh, great. Yeah. So this is more like a nightmare, and um, somebody is in severe danger, and we need to go save them. Let's let's go on an yeah, adventure, so, shall we? So, yeah, we're we're wasting time. We should go. So what do we do with these dwarves? Um, oh. hey Ty. <laughs> All of you hear a nice um, crunching noise coming from nearby as you look over and you see uh, that that giant mantis just chowing down on some of the bodies. As no, who's just kind of sitting there staring at items in hand and like looking through a bag full of bombs uh, what, what, what's happening with the two dwarves I'm not wait wait I, I was going to do something else I'm going to grab one of the bombs place it in front of the dwarves and tie a little bit of a rope uh, around it or just a, a bit of string and I say if you move you blow up and I'll just then I'll be rummaging through all of the remaining of the things and I'll be like okay. grabbing the thing and if I see anything I'll jump on the rope on on the string, I'm probably blow them up. You have uh, three Harkins copper pot grenades now in your inventory there, uh, Nohu, just so you're aware. Ooh. All right. Hey, so. Hey, so. Yeah, um, go ahead. Is, is starting to think maybe, at the very least, maybe this is just a bad dream. So. I would love to, uh, Clay, I should say, I would, Clay would love to, on Fate's Edge, try to just switcheroo back, because that seems like how it should work. Switcheroo back, eh? Yeah, that seems like how it logically, dream logically would work. All right, well, give me an on Fate's Edge uh, heads or Great. tails here. Uh, this All is right, going to be so... a chaos roll, because that's not how this Great. is intended. Uh, yeah, that's I'm going to say it's two uh, applications. Great. Okay. So here Let's is a, a little bit of damage. Um, here's a flip a coin so, for you. Great. So is I'm a I'm a tails never fails. That is a heads. Uh, all right. So Clay reaches down deep into the reserves of energy that Kiara has and attempts to force himself back into his own body, standing over top of Clay, he puts his hands down and suddenly there's a, a, a bit of a flicker of energy and Clay, your consciousness disappears and Clay goes unconscious again. And now you're Kiara. Right. <laughs> Wait, what? So Richie, are you going to fix him? Now he's actually Kiara. Oh. Um, I think what? somehow they, like, switch back. That's oh. good, right? 
I would yes. hope so. I mean, it makes less confusion. By the way, um, um uh, Kiara kind of scares me. So, like, uh, I don't... Uh, can we just pretend... Uh, can you not, not tell her that this happened? Because I'm scared that I'll get punched if she finds out. I'm not going to talk to her. You're fine. Yes. Right! I mean, Let's save her! Uh, play! That way! Also, uh, yeah! Also, I'm right Where'd know who go? I'm... I will... Like, you were on the same bridge. And you're just going to wa start walking past. <laughs> um, I like going to kill you in your sleep. Like actually. just cleaning, cleaning a nail with a knife kind of thing. Just like walks past. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm going to go like keep an eye out in case anything wants to come mess with us on this bridge. So you move forward a little bit. You're keeping an eye out just in case. Uh, Nohu, what are you up to now? Now, uh, since uh, one of my legs is uh, a bit of a nauchi, I'm trying to heal myself. With okay. one of the medical kits that I have with me. Excellent. Give me a brains roll. Just uh, straight brains rolls? Yes. Got it. Unless you have an advanced med kit. That is a 16. That is enough to grant yourself uh, either a wound repair, if you have one. Yeah, you do. So your leg okay. is no longer wounded. Your distraction is gone. You're able to patch that up, and you're okay. Um, you gain one health back from the pack. So that puts you at 8 out of 14. Awesome. So you are uh, feeling better than you were a moment ago. Right. Um, I would also like to treat Choppy because he also had one of his legs injured during the fight. As you uh, hop off to go and grab a hold of Chompy's leg and try to see what you can do to fix him, Chompy turns satiated in full and jumps out into the woods and starts running off again. Oh, uh, all right. I'll I'll call you next time. Just uh, keep off of that leg. It's kind of broken. I'm bleeding. You hear like chirping noises in the woods, and then something screams in the distance. Ooh. Ah, what a playful guy. All right. Anything <laughs> else to find amongst the refuse or the remainings? Uh, not really. I mean, the armor that was on them is damaged. This, these operatives were obviously a more advanced team than you've seen in a while. Uh, their equipment is high quality, but um, you threw away some of the guns. So there is some ammunition. There's some weaponry on some of these individuals and a small amount of silver if you wish to go through their bags. Of course I do. Well, the weapons will go off the, the bridge. The ammunition, I will keep it keep it because it has a, a bit of spark power, which I may be able to use. And the weapons the, go uh, off the bridge into my hand. They <laughs> went no. straight off the bridge. Okay. You know, you got pulled back. Well, not all of them, right? Yeah, all, all of them. Because <laughs> you, oh, no, you got no, young, yanked right. back before you got anywhere near where they no, were at. No worries. In my head, there were some left, but that's even better. Great. He's Kaizen. How all could right. you save him and make him lose guns? I'm so sorry that he didn't die in a swift stream of terrible leeches. So there's 27 Ooh. silver you find yep. total. Uh, know who is you're digging through their belongings. Oh, excuse me, 37. Great. 37, not 27. Off the, off the bridge. Ah, silver, who cares? You throw this, you're just like holding it, you just... I do. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll try and grab it. All right, uh, give me an agile roll to see if you can grab it, or if you end up flying off the edge of the bridge again. With a critical failure. Oh, that was much. That was so close to a one. This is, it's All so right. nice to be, be a character who's agile. <laughs> this is so nice. So you leap forward and you just kind of grab all these coins out of the air as quickly as you can. Uh, just pocket it. And there you go. Pocketed. You've got 37 silver on you now uh, out of everything that, that was rolled. There's now insignias or radios or anything of that sort or credentials, that sort of thing. There were not, no. All right, good enough. Mm. What, do, what do we do with them? Do I blow them up? And you see I them both like, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, it was a scare tactic. It's fine. <laughs> was it a scare what? tactic? Wait, 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 actually, I'm kind of confused. That dwarf uh, leader was a, was a wizard. What the, what the fuck are you guys? You guys are not Empire. What is going on here? Oh, we, we most certainly <laughs> are Empire. I don't understand what you're talking about. Our officer has been our officer for a long time. Uh, it's, a, it's a real shame 
they ran. See the heart. Are you they telling the truth? You know who I am. You uh, know who I am. You, you see the heart, uh, mm-hmm. and they do believe that that person was their was their boss. Was really a, a dwarf. Obviously, it was somebody that they have known for a long time. They are speaking the truth to the degree that they believe what they are saying. Beyond that, I can't tell you if it's true or not. Okay, then what? what what were what was your what were what, what are you doing here? What was your station? What what was uh, your mission or whatever? What is we, your quest? We were told that there was a a very important Vincere operative we needed to come and collect. He um and uh, Did this person have a name? Who yeah. Um, we know uh, we don't have to actually talk to them. Uh, we, let's just knock them out. You know, I, I think we learn uh, as much. I'm as we curious, can. what yeah. name? Was yeah, this Patrick, person? do I need to look into your mind next? What name was it? He went by That's Silverback at one point. Oh. Yeah, ah, who the who the hell, is Silverback? Damn, that's a dumb was name. Why are you uh, acting more sounds like a real asshole? asshole. What? Sounds like I'm a real not- asshole. <laughs> I'm not Patchy. Silverback, I'm Patchy. Yes. So from whom did you get the information that this Silverback man guy, gorilla dude, was here? Our, well, our, our officer, of course, told us. The captain told the us mage. that... The mage. The dwarf well, mage. Well, yeah, I mean, those were some interesting tricks he pulled up. I don't know where he learned how to that do that. That wasn't tricks. That was Aether magic. And normally, yeah. normally, dwarves don't Look, do that. Maybe, maybe he had some alchemical devices on it so, or something. No, it was coming Don't out hear of that. his fingers. Oh, yeah, guys. yeah, you know what you saw. Yeah, it was magic. That's confusing. So clearly you were lied to. No Vince, your operative coming here. This is probably some bullshit. Well, oh, man, it was the monarchy. Those bastards just cool for, tricked you. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on here. So uh, I guess these guys are dumb as, the dumber than us. We got nothing to learn from them. Um... I don't know. Just knock them out and leave. Just you knock them out and le- who's who's attempting to knock them out? I am. Boop. Give me a strong <laughs> roll as you attempt to knock them out. I'll give you a, a plus four for a surprise on the first target. Knock the hell out of me! By knock them out, I'll, I'll knock them out. Um, Bob, I meant the uh, grenade or bomb that was already planted. You're throwing a go. Oh, you're gonna pop the grenade. Okay, yeah, there's an explosion. The problem, the problem <laughs> oh, no, can, I, can, can, I, can, I, can I try uh, to hit that grenade with my tail? Give me 3d6 damage as it explodes. You're not near them at the moment there, Patchy. You're still on the bridge. Well, know who had them. Boom! Seven points of damage goes off, and both of them just... <laughs> as they were already seriously injured. That little bastard is crazy. Uh, well, he just I... listens very well. <laughs> <laughs> There. They're not a problem anymore. I, Patchy, I, you should I, probably I, watch what you say around Nohu. He's like, You're saying this is my fault? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Who here doesn't know what knocking out means? <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> Nohu. <laughs> Don't yell well, at that's me. That's not my fault. Apparently. How am I supposed to know? I just speak skeen. I'm not, I don't speak what these guys speak. I, I don't know he was going to misunderstand me. All of you have heard him speaking, not just skiing, which is strange for us, Gixon, now that you mention it. Huh. Don't you went to the university? Doesn't that mean you're supposed to be smart? Are you talking to me? Yes! What's the point? What is oh. the point of that? Oh, I'm not, I can't speak other languages. I'm a, I'm a, what do you mean? What do you mean about smart? Like, like what part of here am I being that that's not smart? I don't get your point. You're university? just saying words. You're just saying you're just saying hurtful things, hoping that they'll affect. You think it's a sense of oh, it's smart. Like there's no connection in logic in what you just said. You're dumb. Let's leave. Let's try to save your friend. Let's go. Ah, mm, saying it's my fault that I, uh, that I that I that I gotta kill these guys. That is a like, clearly the the dimwit dragon, the mini dragon kobold's fault. Eh. Tyson, I think maybe you should teach some of your meditation techniques. I was just going to meditate just to escape this nonsense. Are we leaving or not? You're I'm asking sorry, crazy, Patchy. I just don't want to be here, okay? As, I just don't want to die this place. As you are there, uh, Felicia starts wiggling inside the backpack behind you, Nova. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? 
Don't sounds let her like... out. She's she's fine as long as she can yeah. breathe. She's fine. Sounds like sounds like Silverback's bad. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying what? is, you can't I just be here. What? I I don't want to be here more than like I, I don't really want to be I, here. So what? like I just can we just go? I like, had to be oh, quiet. Silverback. <laughs> So, <clears throat> I'm getting jealous of Clay the more this goes on on this bridge. <laughs> As he's laying there unconscious. Jealous uh, of he's unconscious or that, or that he's about to die? Who's mm. about to die? Nova, I'm going to try something. Okay. Hey, Silverback, could you hand me that rock right there on the ground? What? Which, which rock? This one? <laughs> <laughs> ah, what? I mean, who the fuck is Silverback? You have some explaining to do. I don't know what you're talking about. If 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 I was Silverback, wouldn't uh, yeah, now I'm about to blow your mind. Uh, wouldn't my back be silver? I don't know. All your hair's that's falling not, out. Not that's not how skits and names work. Check me. Are Let's you go. telling me that you couldn't possibly make a brew that would change the color of your fur? You made my veins grow like roots into the ground. I um swear on uh everyone's I hold uh, everyone I hold dear's life. I did not make a brew to change the color of my skin. So the you, know, you would not be worried about us trying to um, rub off anything that might be changing your fur color, no? Yeah. He makes me tear out his his hair sometimes to give him patches, and then he cuts his own. Okay. You, so um, can we go now? You need to work through Patchy. You mean you should chew out your hair? No, what? What you talking about? No, I don't do that. The truth comes out. Lately. <laughs> huh? So I we see everybody. Pour alcohol down it. <laughs> His fur. What? Does it bleach? What is this? I'm trying to say I have our friend here. And you guys are just doing some weird, like, I mean, on me. Oh, you it's do so see. weird having potions and weird things randomly poured on you, isn't it? How strange and, <laughs> and odd. You do happen to see I ink running off of his fur. Lives. You are doing something because what of this. Because... This reminds me of that fellow Guliani. <laughs> Kara's just gonna like <laughs> hold a little bottle and like stopper it and um like attach a quill to it and be like oh. now you have a sample. Later. What other samples can we get from him? You have some explaining to do, but we need to get on the road. Do we need to rest? Here I was going to heal you and now you're being all deceptive. Hey as interesting as this all is, can I bring the group's attention back to the more we wait here? Sorry, what were we saying? Kiara, uh, you <laughs> silverback, shall we go? Yes, please. Okay, everybody gathers together at this point. Revelations had! And uh, proceed to grab a hold of Clay, continuing to drag him through the muck, uh, since it is still raining quite hard at this point. Uh, the mud trail behind is getting rather thick. You guys, As a matter of fact, you're pretty sure Clay's boots are completely full of mud at this point. Um... And you proceed to continue walking towards the city. As you're walking this cobbled path littered with muck and loose material from the desiccated plant life around, of course, it becoming more and more mutated, more death, more decrepit as you walk. You happen to... Let's see here. There we are. Patchy. You begin hearing echoes of horror trapped deep within your subconscious. Try as you might, every step forward feels like weight being added to your shoulders. You see a figure nearby to the side of the road as the uh, buildings begin to start passing and getting closer, holding a bundle of cloth, ghost-like, towards you before falling to the Not ground, real. face Not melting real. in a rictus of agony, shuddering, shaking, going through a full-body seizure before curling in on itself and melting into the muck and mud. It takes a moment for those of you standing nearby to notice Patchy standing still on the path. As he's looking down at the ground, you see a small bone sticking out of the mud at his feet. Wait, this is the, the vision I saw is now a bone. 
That's where someone had died before. You remember seeing it happen, and you hadn't been able to stay. To move them, you had to flee the place as this carnage was going on. But you remember the look on their face. You begin hearing screams echoing through your mind. So many screams. The cries for help. The buildings around you ablaze with the clouds created by your team, by you and your apprentices. And as Skixon were running from the city, everyone else, everyone else, is melted from the inside out. Their neurons and nerve endings ablaze the entire time. Nearly skeletal figures around you still calling out with empty lungs, their minds still there while their bodies are not. Damage immeasurable for them to be able to even recognize, for their synapses, for their nerve endings, to tell them that they are no longer alive. It's too fast, it's too much. They don't know they're dead, and they're calling for help. Folks are throwing themselves out of windows nearby. Some are turning weapons and blades on themselves to make the pain stop. And explosions are rocking the city. Gunfire can be heard mingling with the screams, but you're in a daze. You have left your own body and can do nothing but witness the evils that have transpired in this place forever tainted. You continue moving forward, and you can see the damage. Do I have, like, damage. any alcohol or something in my, in my, like, bag or something? I think you do. Yeah, so, I'm gonna take a swing at it. Everybody else that's here that's walking is just seeing these buildings in half states of damage and states of warfare. There's uh, painted signs saying danger and warning all around them. You see various cleanup crew supplies and things in various parts around the town. You see bones littering the alleyways and the streets, frozen in rictuses of pain and agony, arms outstretched and stuck in rigor mortis that have just kind of solidified in those positions. And uh, okay. as, as you walk, you can see stains and marks upon the walls nearby. Does anybody Do I... touch one of these stains at all? Oh, that you're making it very alluring. Um, <laughs> do I see anything with Ghost Talker? I mean, I know they're not really go. You see, uh, uh, well, you hear the whispers of hundreds of people in, in fear. Those same echoes of screams, you're hearing them in the distance. Whatever has tainted this place has drawn around a lot of a lot of death and a lot of death entropy. There's a the Eternals here are just the kind that consume and live off of that that death. I'm gonna get real close to Kaizen and grab his arm, and I will bite. I will I will poke a stain. I guess because I'm very curious to know what's in store. Why do you have to be in contact with me when you do that? Because I'm scared and you're my comfort. Okay. 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 Let's go. As you move your hand, you try to poke it. Yeah, you see her bringing her hand over towards one of the, the stains. Don't touch it! Don't, don't, don't touch anything. You don't have to. Says the trustworthy one. Yeah, I mean, well, but, I mean, he says not to. It's gotta be either really bad, or maybe the truth of the situation is gonna come out because he's trying to dissuade me from doing that because he's been, dis been dishonest and I poke the stain. Ah! You reach over and you touch it. And as your hand goes across it, as your, your fingertip just grazes the substance, you feel a burning, tingling sensation. And uh, the outer layer of skin begins dissolving away very quickly. This compound yeah. is, however, aged and uh, very lightweight. And it stops after a little while, leaving you with the sensation of like a, a, like a third degree burn. Ow! What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? This place is is like ground zero to a like a massive attack or something. Should we be and breathing? Then... What? Breathing. Should we be breathing? No, we, I think, I mean, we haven't died yet. It's just probably some of the material has been stuck with the soil and the metal and everything. It's it's it. You you, you don't know what happened. What, what might be stuck there? I don't know. Uh, Clearly, so you do. You told me not to. What happened? And this is actually I knew people know what happened here, right, Ty? Uh, I think I rolled and I got a success on you, knowing what happened. You had known that this is this is the ground for one of the greatest Vincier attacks that has happened. Um, <gasps> okay, because now I can put it together because now we know Silverback and now we know Vincier and we know that this Patchy, did you bum and kill everybody? Are you the reason that the Skixin are Skixin? That's impossible. That Not be. that one. <laughs> no, that's the Halifax. That's where Nova's going. Oh, okay. 
Are you the reason Skixit or Skixit? How dare you accuse me of such a thing? I would never do something like that. I, I, that is the greatest atrocity that has ever happened to any people in this okay. universe. Everybody calm down. We're about to have another unconscious person. And I look at Patchy. Just breathe. <laughs> do you know? I don't think we should breathe here, though. Do you? Yeah. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm starting to miss Setna. <laughs> I know, isolation was less ouchy, but... So, if we're all going to work together as a team, honesty needs to be one of the topmost priorities. Does, are we... Can we agree on that? Just because I used to be Vincere because of some dwarf... Or, or just because you think I used to be Vincere because some dwarf said something... I made no uh, accusations. I, you, you, you think I'm the one who did this? I'm gonna keep an eye on Nohu, like just out of the side of my eye to make okay. sure he's not like licking anything. You or... yes, like to know, I am not. I uh, didn't mm -hmm. do this. Technically. Okay. Technically. Uh, wait, Ty, that, that's not a lie, right? So what's the loophole, Apache? Um, you helped create this yeah 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 but, but, but i'm speaking but literally like, you were you were working on we don't have to reveal too much time come on help him <laughs> say my best i would right. say hey. you're you're implicit oh, no. in it but no, not who, you the gotta cause lick something. Of. no who licks something uh as find finding something useful no who <laughs> as well, you're standing actually, around the room go ahead and give I was, me. I was thinking something along the lines of you said that there were like calcified bodies in yes. the last moments with the hands outstretched. So now who has been like as he passes by, he's been like breaking down of their fingers and gathering them all out. So at the moment he's like having a bunch of popcorn, like finger by finger. Oh, hmm. finger, uh, finger. Finger, finger. As you are yeah. eating those fingers, you you feel this spicy sensation on your tongue. As we all find out, know who's immune to the toxin. <laughs> No, okay. So I'm no one to... was watching him for that, and it was like, no. Okay, well, I guess. I mean, okay. he is probably fine, but like, don't eat that. Respect the dead. Come on. You're dead. <laughs> They're not using it anymore. Respect yeah. the dead, says the man who has a bunch of people in jars and freezers. I mean, in my defense, those are war criminals. That's a different. In my defense, with the chemi chemical like in. in Toxicity and nuclear like waste around here. These are like n nowhere near the original source of what they were once. True. Mm -hmm. If everybody will uh, give me an initiative roll, so we can decide what how an initiative, so we can decide um, uh, what order everybody's going to be operating in here shortly. We get an eight for Kaizen. We get a 10 for Kiara, Clayara. <laughs> Four for Nova. Dang, your guys' rolls are bad. I mean, because I'm bad at flipping coin, like, I'm basically just Kiara. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And know who uh, gets to Patchy, do you have wounds? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. It hurts. Okay. So we're going to start this with know who first. Um, you've traveled through this waste for a while, and you end up at the ground zero, where some of the worst of this happened, but also the location where you had a secret lab underneath this city. The Vincere had been planning and plotting. It didn't take very very long to realize that transporting such a volatile chemical long distance wouldn't be useful. So you actually created your lab in the sewers and everything underneath the city. That lab right. has the uh, equipment you need to fix Clay's condition. Okay, yes, but just I mean, I just don't want there to be confusion about that. But like, I was trying to do something. like so. This was this was the this lab was here before this thing was planned. This lab was created by Vincier here before this thing was planned. It was part of a small okay. outpost. It just happened okay, to have all the all the things you needed to to create enough of this chemical. Okay, that's that, okay. That's just, just okay. Yeah, um, there's this, this place is where, where we need to go. So uh, you do know that this place is where it was at, but there were multiple entrances, and based on the damage of the city, based on the cleanup crews that have come through here, you're not certain where the entrance is going to be right now. 
So uh, you might have to do a little bit of searching until you can find it. Um, all you need yeah. to do is find a, an appropriate crack or, or staircase that's still in good shape or something that'll that'll make it all the way down inside. So yeah, um, where the, good at the, the for place crack. we need to take clay <laughs> in true. is down there. But like the entrance can be, there were multiple entrances. I don't know if any one of them is covered. So anyone find a, any pathway that leads like that direction? Hold on. <laughs> Uh, Kaizen sits down and uses Respite to try to focus on the best place closest for shelter to see if possibly that may be the location. You sense outward as far as your mind will reach, looking for the nearest safe location. It is a mile south of you. No. Oh. So this place you're speaking of is, is less than a mile from us right now, is that correct? Yes. Correct, voice in the sky. You can okay. say it's only maybe t uh, 20 feet below you, somewhere. Well, I mean, I this tried. place is 20 feet below us, but like... Uh, well, unless the entrance to it is a mile away, I uh, cannot help you. Would that be positive with the entrance? Would we have an, uh, like far away entrance to this since we are over in the sewers? Hanging out there on the um, ground for the most part. not as likely. You had to retrofit and rebuild some of these sewers. Even though there were some that were large enough to fit within, you had to find the right central location that happened to have the greatest uh, diameter tubing and things like that to work from in order to create these down below. It's not. It's a clean space down here now. It did not start that way, and the work started inside of some of the larger places that existed within the city. Um, so the further out you went, like a twisted uh, capillary system just got smaller and smaller and smaller until it ended up um, dumping out into the rivers and stuff nearby. So, uh, so no, there's no other entrances that you know of other than in this location. Yeah, so, uh, no, nah, that's that's not it. Um, uh, it should be something more closer. Nova, okay. Yes. I can't help but notice sometimes you act like you have invisible friends. I mean, I do. Do you have anything that may act like a scout to save us some time? I do, but it they don't go very far. Okay. So are I we splitting also, up in this terrifying place? We could. I, I could also see if there's anyone hanging around that could help us. Well, do your thing, princess. <laughs> On your turn, you can uh, all now Sarcastic. decide what ways you're going to, to do, where you're going to go, and how you're going to approach this situation. Know who you are first, being fastest at this moment, to react, obviously not paying attention to everybody else's silly discussions when there's action to be had. Uh, what do we see Know Who doing? Question, how long would it take me to both uh, well, to do the uh, remodeling to the gun, to add the custom that uh, Nova asked me uh, the previous Adding game. the mod on? Um, it depends yeah. on your role one, uh, but typically it's between 10 minutes and an hour if you have a really low roll compared to the what it takes to add them on. All right. Well, uh, I think I, it's uh, uh, everybody's trying to find uh, the entrance. I'll instead try to find a little bit of shelter from this uh, rain, and I'll try to start working on uh, adding that mo modification. But ooh, ooh, before that, I uh, well, take a step over to Kiara. Hey, 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 Kiara, Kiara, how's that? Uh, how, how's your gun doing? Uh, is the modification, uh, the gift I, I gave it, uh, going all right? It's Want almost, something new? It's almost too good. Um, I have to get used to it first. Ooh, I, I can give you something uh, different. If if it's already boring, I, I can make it even better. No, I don't. I don't Spark think it's. I do not think it's possible. Um, I'm going to go scout for a place to save my friend's life. And uh, Kiara's just gonna try and go high, um, get a get her upper vantage point. <laughs> okay. 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 Just tell me if if, if you ever needed uh, something else. All right, all right. Then I'll go over to. You. Uh -huh. Let's see what I can see from here. You move forward. In front of you is a small building. Obviously, you see skeletons and you see uh, bug life and things like that inside some of the cracked walls of the building. You can see through, but. 
not really a whole lot to see here at the moment. There's an old fountain that is no longer working, uh, a well that seems to be open to the air with uh, some strange mold growing around the edge of it. All Off right. To your right. Uh, well, I'll see if I can squeeze around the rubble of the building uh, to see if I can uh, make myself a little bit of a nest to out of the, the rain to start working on the modification. All right, so where do you, go ahead and move your character one more time. Uh, you have over a, here. That's enough, okay, there you go. You move over to the side, find your way inside of this, this, little, this little building. And inside of here, there's a whole bunch of old rotting hay. There's uh, still bits and pieces of thatched roof that keep you out of the rain. You can see where individuals hid in here because like a family is huddled together as a skeletal, a skeletal crew in the corner. Oh, if I had a, uh, a camera, I would be taking a picture with them, but uh, what a shame All right. that I don't have one. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, go ahead and give me your brains roll as you attempt to begin working on Nova's device. Does this uh, does the modification not my whole repair thing? It doesn't count as a repair. All right. So uh, just from say my... 12 or higher to add that to this weapon. The higher you roll, the less time it takes. That is a 16. That will take you two, four, it's just four. So that'll be 30 minutes total to fix this up while everybody's looking around. All right. I'll be working on this. Just wanna, it'll take like a couple of minutes. So no, to know. take maybe years. No, who lets, uh, <laughs> lets uh, everybody trying. know. That's what's important. Yes, trying. So, what is Clayara doing right now? Yeah, I think first instinct is going to be um, get a higher vantage point here. Like, I noticed there's like a... There's a courtyard around like. this. This this used to be um, a relatively high income location. There's some old damaged trees gotcha. nearby. There's some of them that are starting to grow back, but the foliage seems to be strange and uh, a bit sickly, mutated. Okay, then actually, if, if it looks like it used to be a rich people place, I think the first instinct is rich people like to have tunnels slash stashes underground that, who knows, might lead to what we're looking for. So I actually think want to try and find an inside and see if we can go down. All right, well, go ahead and start moving on the map and uh, go where you okay. think works. I'll describe what you see around. So, so you move over here uh, in front of a building that's there. You're right up against the wall. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, we're going to we're gonna kind of cozy away around, away from know who and whatever. Step around the corner, <laughs> seeing <laughs> a broken statuary. You see a small amount of light escaping from uh, an abode nearby. Uh, a broken tower that has crumbled inwards. An explosion of some kind seems to have racked it off to your left. And obviously the signs okay. of a, an old fight that had occurred here quite some time ago. That seems promising. Uh, I think I have seven move or so left yeah. so i'm gonna just head my way to that that little right. ruiny you move to the edge uh and you have a window in front of you currently still there glass you can try to break it try to open it from the outside i mean we don't have to worry about property damage it's just a quick smash like all right so give me a <laughs> agile roll to have. avoid hurting yourself in the process of breaking a pane of glass this is not like uh you know breakaway glass or anything so all right that's fine so you swing in with the breakaway glass if you hit it hard enough <laughs> if you hit it hard enough so the hilt of your weapon comes in and you just you guys hear a, a smash of glass in the distance and uh you can continue moving into the building great and then i think i have like two more yep as you move in uh, you see a bunch of old crates and materials this place used to be it looks like someone who lived here before was a scout. They did a lot of expeditions. You can see map work. You can see a bunch of things inside the, the building that lead towards whoever this was uh, journaling the surface of Myosinus. Uh, very obviously a dwarven family of some kind, but part of the ceiling had fallen down and crushed this individual nearby. Um, on a small table in the, the shelving to your left, you happen to see there is a diamond locket just laying there. You can see like little shiny bits around it. 
And uh, as you lift it up, there's a little clasp on it that can open up. Do you open sure, the locket? Take a quick peek in. Yeah. It still seems to be in decent shape. As you pull it open, you see a father and a daughter in like little sections on either side. There's a, a little inscription that says, For my dearest, congratulations on the apprenticeship. Uh, and just kind of like, and, uh, congratulations to me. And we'll uh, right. pocket the so put, valuable uh, item. You know? uh, so inside your bag, mm -hmm. just put in a diamond locket. Great. And that is yeah. Kiara's turn. As we move over to Kaiser. It was clay that might have made him sentimental. Maybe. Okay. So, first, I think about the scenario, and I think about all the swapping, and I think about how we need to heal our poor friend, and a tear comes to mind, and I ask Patchy if he has a vial. Patchy, do you have a vial? Yes. May I please see it? I have multiple vials. Ugh, I don't know what to do. Look at the nerves. Thank you. Uh, so I am going to activate unicorn, unicorn tears and capture that tear in the vial. Give me a uh, brains roll to see if you can make yourself cry. I'm going to say that based on the surroundings here, uh, it might not be quite so hard. You're seeing terrible things that have happened all yeah. around. Looking at all the death. Yeah, and very easily you're able to bring a tear to mind. And as you do so, seeing all of this around you reminds you of your own family. Reminds you of your friends on Sedna. At the end of all things for you and for them, the giants coming. You see people in various states of fear and, and terror as they are being destroyed around you. It's not all that different. Only the... The damage caused here came from a, a magical weapon, rather than physical flesh and blood. I really have to quit doing this to myself. I walk over to Patchy and wipe my eyes. Okay. I didn't want to do this because you're going to go crazy over this sample and be harassing me, but drink this. What? Just... Trust me. He's, um, all right. uh... Now all your wounds are gone. Ta -da. As you drink that small tear down, as it first touches your tongue, a sensation not unlike that of like honeyed tea and warmth radiates through your entire being temporarily, I'm and delicious. you see that fuzziness in your head, the ringing in your ears from that shot that you took earlier, fades away. And your leg immediately stops stinging so badly. What the heck? You, you need to give me one of those again, if you can. Please. You told him. I told you, and I also told you that I wasn't quite an elf from that. I can't until next um. For episode. some time. <laughs> For some time. Sure, sure. For Have some time. Take your time. Take your time. Okay. Uh, I will try to do that Thank as you. soon as I can That's, for this you. Is, this is. I, I appreciate it, and that was very kind of you, and uh, thank you so much. What the hell is that possible? Fair warning, though, your patches might grow back, because you might need to go see your kitty. And then I walk off. <laughs> As he goes and walks away, you look at yourself, Patchy, and you notice that some of those about. damaged patches of fur have already begun sprouting back. Kaizen, um, uh, you have Oh my a... god! My birth defect is cured! They, uh -huh. <laughs> Put my hand up as I walk my into the dark. I had this from the birth! Weirdly, silver fur is growing back. That's so weird. So strange. Uh, Kaizen, where do you move from there? You have it one standard action remaining for movement. I'm going to go... <clears throat> Let's go... Let's go right in past these roots. I want to see if there's any path or anything that has fallen through with all the root growth trying to get down below or see if there's any other entrances into subterranean type caverns me, beneath us. Give me an aware roll as you're traveling and you're looking at the, the tree and you're kind of digging at the base of it a little bit and you Nat stare 20. Uh, Nat 20. So 
With an at 20, do you want something that benefits you or everybody else nearby? Uh, everybody else nearby. Okay. Um, as you are seeking down through the base of these roots, you recognize that there is some sort of construct that the plant could not grow down below uh, nearby. You don't think that anybody could effectively dig or climb or move down. There needs to be an actual entranceway into this location. Um, it's not necessarily that Patchy forgot to tell you, but the entire facility underneath the city has been, like, locked down inside of a, a bit of a Faraday cage, a bit of a, a box for the lab. You can also okay. tell with the, the strength of the stonework that whatever happened above ground didn't impact it at all, so it's likely still intact for the most part. Oh, Patchy, and I yell back, uh, your facility is still entirely intact, it would seem, uh, but it is quite reinforced. So we're going to need to find a way in. There's not going to be any cracks or holes. Probably a door. Uh, or a ladder. You're going downstairs, so. Or a ladder. Something. Staircase. Ladder, Ooh, a staircase. spiral staircase descending down. That's always spooky and interesting. <laughs> yes, I would surely hope so. I would just add a little edge, wouldn't yeah. it? <laughs> Flare. To this already horrible place, but Patchy. let's go oh, with that. Oh, I just need some wallpaper and some clearing of corpses. Yes, I get it. Yeah. Patchy, it's your turn. When you came out of well, here before, I... the well nearby is where the Skixen attack came from. When the Vincere struck the first time, they just swarmed out of it. Oh, so that would be the most logical entrance way. For I, mean, I feel like I've been, I mean, uh, if, if, w w did I spend any time in this lab or was it my apprentices that used this one? It was primarily your apprentices. You came in to do a bit of oversight towards when the event happened and found that they had gathered a lot of chemicals that you thought were volatile. You needed more testing to be done. You told them not to use it. And yet three scars said it's now or never. Um, if memory serves me right, I think the entrance might be in that well over there. Uh, um, oh, good. I'm in a well gonna, in a terrifyingly dark place. Couldn't I go could send a, my pet down I'm there. I'm gonna directly go there. I'm gonna, like, avoid looking no, at anything No, there's treasure else. down this well. You can't hear them all the way that, from where you're at. Oh, oh, that's right. I'm not there. That is neither witty yeah. nor smart! <laughs> <laughs> Mel thinks he's, he's a jokester, comedian, but whatever. All right, Patchy, so give me your movement yeah. as you head over towards there. Trying to keep your head down, trying to stay quiet. I don't like this so, place. So, like, I'm trying You're to get Felicia here, right? Bag. Yep. Uh, that is six movement. That'll be one and a half of your, well, yeah. As you climb over to it, pitch black down below. Uh, as you step near the edge, Patchy, give me a tough roll or find yourself stricken with emotion. Aw, roll to, st to stave off emotions. Roll ah, to feel things. Shit. Patchy, with roll that roll, feel you feel incredibly sick suddenly. And you feel a pain in your head. This is, this is one moment in your past of some of your greatest failure. This, this is when you remember stating, as Three Scar mentioned, it's now or never. He convinced you to give the, the okay on this attack. But only Wait, under I, I the never said it. but only under yes. the direct influence of you deciding where these attacks went. They, however, did not listen to you. It spread everywhere rather than targeting soldiers only. I, I, I thought I thought my apprentices turned my thing into a weapon. It was not supposed to be a weapon. God damn it, you bastards! Well, mm, as you're standing there at the edge of the I'm well. Just... I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to crawl into a corner for just the one second and just going to sit here for a bit. Patchy just kind of uh... sits down and starts rocking, holding his knees near the edge of this place. And uh, we continue. Nova, your turn. Bastards, those bastards, those bastards, those bastards, those bastards, those bastards. So... <laughs> That's a lot. That's a very heavy place. Um, I'm going to. So if I have a a full action 
that I'm using a thing because I want to use a full action spell. That means I can't. Can I still move somewhere? Uh, full action spell takes away all of your actions, even for motion, for movement. Yeah. So I cannot move. Correct. But this is not your typical um, combat scene at the moment. So just describe what you're attempting to do and I'll let you. Well, I want to use my adherent and mm -hmm. I want to warg with them. It's eight. Uh, range is eight plus two per adherent level. And I think I'm at You're two? at one. So that would be 10, 10 distance total. Okay. Um, so I want to walk over to the well. Okay. Can I do that? Um, you can get here and then use your ability at that point. That's perfect because what I wanted to do was sit down next to Patchy and get on the ground and then just kind of sit next to him and then say, I'll be right back and then warg, which makes me just like not there <laughs> anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, and then hop down the well, but I'm trying to be there but i can't literally be there so i'll physically be there while i'm not there you see yeah that makes I, i'm perfect feeling your presence sense. but i'm not really looking at you so you don't yeah I, you're insane it's fine i get it it's symbolic i'm too cool you're going insane hey it takes one to know one okay so uh you then have stella move forward and uh nobody else can see this individual this creature at the moment but Stella floats and starts climbing down the side of the well. Getting about 15 feet, so like distance three down below, there is a huge section of the well that's damaged and there's a bunch of rubble that has filled it. Is it impassable? You believe so. Impassable. You know, you, that's, that's what Stella believes and what you can see. I mean, there's no light coming the through miracle. like that. Stay alive, damn it. Okay, so I can I get pa can I go anywhere down here with Stella? Nope. It is blocked off for Stella. I'm we and incorporeal and literally an imaginary friend. I can't. Well, I guess that's slide true. Stella rock. does have ten movements. It doesn't indicate that they have they're physical. It doesn't at the moment. specify that walls so stop her. Stella moves through the rubble and finds that um, a section of wall down below has caved in and filled this whole this whole part of the tunnel down below. Um, you end up traveling another 15 feet down before coming out into a, a room. Rather large, darkened, uh, it's pitch black in there. Stella can see in black and white only in this position from where you're at. You see a bunch of old equipment and tables and things like that. And uh, some giant fungus seems to have like started growing down here. Is this what we're looking for? Do the I lab. think? Yeah. It is. Okay, um, can I go back through while I, d or go back to me, um, while I do so, are there, can I look for any vulnerable spots or I guess actually before, before I leave, I want to look around to see if there's another entrance. And then as I'm exiting, I want to keep an eye out for any like points of um, weakness in the rubble. All right, give me an aware roll as you're kind of traveling around looking. I'm not an aware person. Son of a... Two. Hold on. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and use that ace, eh? Son of a ah, bitch! Two! Okay, I'm using... Son of a Another two. one. <laughs> that's okay, better. That's Eleven. Better. Would 12 so, help me? Uh, 12 will get you the one. number you need to find it over the course of like 10 minutes. As opposed to not finding it? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and do that then. All right, so you use your plus one, and uh, you start roaming around. So Nova's just sitting there, slack-jawed, like, blank stared. Her eyes are almost Not like... slack-jawed. Her eyes are, oh, like, yeah. slightly glazed, and there's just water running down her face. It starts pooling in her mouth as you're sitting there, Patchy. You see her just having, like, water coming out of her mouth because it's spilled with the rain Why coming down the side of her like face. Why do like that, I, I can't be <laughs> while I'm sitting there. <laughs> Damn, I'm, I'm, I'm a Disney I'm princess. Like, it's all my fault. It's all my fault. It's all my... What the fuck? Hey, it's <laughs> all my fault. It's all my fault. So, Patchy, on it's your next fault. turn, you'll have some potential options available to you. Uh, but for now, Clay, give me a tough roll to resist uh, severe wounds. Your roll target is 16 or higher to avoid three wounds. Okay, I think my 
tough is actually just a plus one, if I remember correctly. So I'm, I'm gonna just uh, yep. throw that out. Your tough is a two. Tough is a two. Wee. All well, right. Five. Then. Those threes. It's the threes. Play. As uh, as you're kind of you were dragged forward, everybody's just kind of left you out of the rain for the most part to the side. Great. Um, anybody that's watching him notices that Clay's legs begin to be have, have severe veins moving through them bla that blacken and collapse, and bruises start to appear all over his body as his right arm and his right and left legs start to to decay. I will say, if yes. the, if Clay if Clay had does Clay have in a like any ounce of like cognition right now, or is it like potato on the ground? Um, give me a high or low. Uh, high, obviously. No, he's a potato. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Great, love it. Okay. From there, we move on in initiative order back over to Nohu, continues working on that piece, I'm assuming, looking about if you wish to stop at any point and do something else, let me know, and you can pick up your work from later. Nope, I don't think uh, unless anything else catches my attention uh, in my little, like, nest, but no, uh, otherwise, unless I happen to hear something else, I'll let you know. Okay. Clayora, you're up. You're inside of that map maker's house. The cartographer, honey. Cartographer. That's the word I was looking for. Hey, I'm tired and I forget words sometimes. Um, I feel like a, a good a, a first instinct is is going to do a more cursory glance to see and see if, if this is only like outside of town maps or maybe if they might be a like city map with sewer systems or like tunnels or things in it. Okay, so you go over to the map, go to the table real quick in the room, and then uh, give me an aware roll so you can look over these things, try to determine what they are. Yeah. Nah, 20. Ah. Okay. With that nat 20... I forgot what's like playing a competent person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, does Kiara find out... <laughs> two options here the one that benefits her the yeah. most is that uh she finds that there is some information related to a city she'd heard about at one point that was deemed lost that or not a city a uh, location that was deemed lost where mm -hmm. a uh a resources vehicle was was lost nearby and, and near the ocean and that is okay. filled with wealth or does she happen to see that these maps were looking throughout the region for an ancient uh, technological site that was damaged? Something that might benefit all of you greatly. Money. <laughs> all right. Money, please. <laughs> so uh, if you'll write down on the sheet, uh, mm -hmm. treasure ship wreck. Amazing. Yes. All about that. She knows the location of that. It's on the west coast. Ooh. Weird. You know, Clay always wanted to have his ashes scattered on the west coast if he <laughs> died, so... That's where you're going to go when he dies? Is that what we're hearing here? So, But but with that role, I'm also assuming that, no, there's not, like, city maps. This, um, no. Uh, no the individual problem. that was doing these, uh, it was for... Basically, for their apprenticeship, right, they had to go and measure or uh, go out and uh, basically design the maps for the coast of the region and uh, try to find ship trade and travel routes. And they came across an airship crash at one point and marked where it was at. Awesome. Work study. Then, yeah, yeah at, at this point, I think Kiara is definitely smart enough to know probably not going to find anything else of much use here. It's going to. Uh, if I can have the movement, just kind of bop back outside the... Yep. Uh, there's another window. You just smash it again. And sure, climb yeah. Uh, avoiding this, doors this... seems to be uh, Kiara's main thing you at know, the moment. You know, people trap doors. People don't usually think to trap the windows. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
I mean, climbs back out. No point. The old damaged well nearby. Uh, we move down to Kaizen. You're still outside of everything. Okay. I still kind of want to explore while I'm down here. I'm going to go... Um... Let's go here. Uh, give me go, a go. agile roll to climb the wall in front of you. All right. 13? You find your way up on the wall, and then uh, you proceed to start making your way on top of this building as best you can, which means I have to make you go all the way around because of the way this thing works. Hold on a second. Who is your... Okay. Who is your... The one downfall of using this system is that if you create something as a wall, there's no way to go through it at all. Uh, so you find your way on top of the that roof top from here. And um, okay, the old damaged building. There happens to be uh, some soldiery that used to be inside. You see bits and pieces of old ragged armor, the bodies of which have been kind of dissolved inside of um, some collapsed sections of the buildings nearby, and. Uh, Inside of this room, all you see is uh, the individual kind of laying there with his hand out, big stone on where his chest is at, obviously seriously damaged. But there's a, a rather nice looking ring on his finger. Well then, naturally, I will collect the ring and I want to search around to see if there's anything else of value or that could be beneficial to myself or party members. Give me an aware roll. Oh. All right, 12. Yeah, as you search around the area, you do happen to find a small satchel of silver that this individual had been carrying. It's got 30 inside of it. Uh, you obviously have the ring as you pull it off the finger um, you kind of move it around to look at it. It's probably worth a decent amount. It says forever on the inside. Um, and inside of the uh, the remains there, there's some bits and pieces of, of weaponry that have been damaged very seriously. You're not certain if it's actually repairable. And some old spark powder vials. Um, they've been open to the elements for a while and there's some water mixing in with them. You don't know if that means they're damaged or not. Perhaps know who can find this beneficial. I will take it to bring it back to him. All right. So when um, I see him next, write down broken machine, broken machine parts, and old spark powder on your sheet. Uh, Patchy, we move back over to you. As you're sitting there, um, you're consumed with this deep mixture of just loathing and sadness and frustration and anger, kind of all at once. But as you look over at Noah, see, the, see her in this strange position. You know that sometimes getting out of your own head is the best way for you to overcome some of these sensations. And sometimes throwing yourself into work is the best way that you can you can come out of this. You do know that Nova's strange. Um, so if you can do something related to your your work process, you will come out of your funk. Would you be collecting my spit without my permission? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, okay. Um, I'm just gonna get a like a like a tiny lock of hair. Tick. I haven't gotten Ding. that yet. Uh, and gonna. Does that hurt me? Uh, give me an agile roll to see if you can remove one carefully enough that it doesn't cause pain or that snaps her out of her effect. <laughs> That he is, yep, yep. Board. He pulls it off without any pain. He's he's practiced at this. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm an expert at stealing people's <laughs> I mean, hair. You're stealing right. pieces of hair from people for years now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just like um, I I don't just like create my little uh, alchemical. I guess not like little labs portable lab set that I have, <laughs> and I'm gonna just just ch China just automatically continue the notions like like dissect it and not dissect it but like i'm not using an overload i'm already I just have one left but um uh not not doing a potion or anything but uh, just going through the whole process of like examining uh the material i have in front of me uh with my little implements and tools and stuff um and just like trying to get back to it and also just trying to 
trying to remember a time before I came into this position of power and the whole Vincere and like did the whole downhill thing, just like more early days of just uh, trying to change the world uh, with the like, sparkle in my eye or something, whatever. Just, just, just fascination with everything. Right. Uh, and give me trying to understand the secrets behind everything. I guess. Give me a brains roll as you try to understand the secrets behind why it seems like Nova's form uh, is greater than usual when it comes to your your uh, side effects, when it comes to the powers of your, your containers, that kind of thing. So, now I've lost my train of thought because of the audience. <laughs> anyway, um, as you are, Whatever. as you're sitting there and you, you work this material through your devices, through its paces, and you begin testing it, the first thing you notice is that it is tethered to Aether in a much stronger way than most elves are. You notice that there are genetic strains of it that once you pull it apart, reform themselves in a much faster way than, than should be possible for an elf. You recognize that there's something about it, however, that is incomplete, that is damaged. And you're curious about that. What, what does that mean? Um, if it was up, you just have this hunch that someone is in the past has manipulated Nova to make her seem to be an elf. Wait, wait, what? So, so she is not an elf. Is that what you're going to? That's not exactly the case, but. She's definitely not exactly an elf. What are you? What is this? Wait, she, she's not. <laughs> she's still I, out I, of it. She, I'm. I gotta figure this shit out. This is we. Hmm. You're more interesting than I thought. Maybe you can talk to animals, and I don't need that nineteen. Patchy, uh, give 20. me uh, give me another brains roll, and may maybe you know if I can talk to animals. We'll see what you figure out with that. So I said I'd give you opportunities to re-roll that later. <laughs> uh, critical failure. Uh, does Patchy never figure out? That Nova is uh, able to talk to animals, or does he does he do something in this moment that breaks Nova out of her reverie and uh, forces you to to no longer have her searching with her her uh, her creature down below? I just I I guess I'm too consumed with this lock of hair that's <laughs> weird, full of magical energy, and is somewhat not not complete. That I'm like, what is this? What is this? What is this? Just he like scratches the your cheek. Wait, what's going on? And suddenly, Nova, you wake up as Scratchy's like give, pawing give, give at you. More, give me more! Give me more! Ah! God damn it! Every time I scream, I get a chicken. Uh, <laughs> uh, what, give me more! What, what are you? Uh, uh, irritated. I was trying to figure out what was going on down there. And what the heck? Mm, you feel like that in a second? Yes, I mean, I, I guess, I guess I am. I, I can't focus on that right now. Uh, I, I can't focus on my, my, my personal demons. There are other demons right now. What, what are you? You're not exactly an elf, are you? Uh, yeah. You're, 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 I mean, you're, you're an heir. Really this, this thing, who, it's full of like ma aether and magic. It's, it, it's doing things that it should <laughs> not be doing. But oh, she's she gone again. Leaves. She's working again. She works uh, out again once, once. The no, she's don't, slippery. don't go, don't go. Come back, come back. Don't work. There's, there's other things to do more than working right now. Can you hear me? You scared me. Come back. <laughs> okay, yeah, there you are. Uh, th 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 this, this, this thing, it's, it's full of aether magic. It's aether. It's full of it. But like, my hair? But like, weird, different. Not the LV shit. This is something else. Everything that Ty said, but like the way Patchy would. But it's Patchy. like a little jumbled up in my mind. So I'm like, Patchy, don't know how to. Yes. you could come to more conclusions if you can make it to your lab down below. Uh, oh yes, the the lab below. Um, it. I think I have lamps in my bag. Oh, I can see in the dark. I'm gonna skitter down into the uh, <laughs> below. As he goes to climb into the well, you tell him it's blocked. It's blocked. I'll find a way. You climb down further and Kiar further. For flavor, Kiara just like helps, just like a little 
slight nudge slash push to help help Patchy get down through the Whoa! well. You know, just a little. <laughs> All right, Patchy, uh, using Skitter, you climb down into the well, and when you get to the bottom, there's a bunch of rubble that wasn't here before. It seems like sections of the, the well itself have collapsed inward, and down below is no longer no longer accessible from this direction. Would there be like a secret entrance or some kind that I would know of? Uh, roll brains to see if you know where it's at. Ooh. That is a 19. The only thing you can think of is there one of you know that one of the guard towers in this small area has a stairwell that leads down to a lavatory, and that was a fake lavatory uh, in the basement, and it led into the facility. I'm gonna skitter out and just not without looking at anyone and just to the tower. It's that way! And not, you don't remember exactly it. which tower it is, it's just one of the towers. There's one at each corner. Okay! Uh, actually, it's not that way. It's, you see all these towers? It's in one of them. Which one? Should we split? You want to split the party in the middle of a crazy nuclear fallout area? Cool. Sure. Let's do that. What could go wrong? Which one is the most likely candidate? Well, Ty. You know that uh, Kaizen's standing on slash in one of them already? He could check that one out pretty easily. Um, do I know the, that? Yes, you can see him there. Kaizen! There should be a fake lavatory there. Is there one? Uh, hold on. Let me check. As you place the ring <laughs> upon your finger, Kaizen, holding on to it, Kaizen disappears from view. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What? There come the ring rays. The Nazgul are on their way. <laughs> Kaizen, oh, in your inventory, if you'll place ring of uh, temporary uh, light bending inside of there. Coffee bean. Well, that was awesome. Yes, thank you. It can be used once per episode to make you uh, invisible temporarily. Okay. Okay, I guess in my invisible state, I'll check around this tower. <laughs> Where it too long. All right. You travel down below, heading uh, closer. What Patchy said was towards the basement, and the basement in this location has a couple of old boxes, bags, some flour, some grain and things like that stored here. You don't see a bathroom. Okay, well, I'll shuffle through the things and say, I don't see anything down here. You hear a disembodied here. voice yelling at you. Uh, Nova, you can see Kaizen. Is this kind of like warping figure standing there? Why are you all warped? I just found a very cool toy. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> mm hmm you just take it. Can we check the other it. towers then? Uh, and about then figure that, out this. About that time, yeah, Nohu, you finished your modification. Click as you uh, are done adding that to, to Nova's firearm. Good. Then I'll add my own modification. You know, the, <laughs> Give me the your... special uh, Nohu brand one. Give me a cobalt modification. Good, good. Just one second. Yeah, it oh, now yeah. creates a chaos effect yeah. when fired. Just gonna make it super polished at the gun. All right. Yeah. Well, I feel that the original owner of that gun would be okay with that particular effect. So uh, the upgrade will be broken. The, the gun breaks and the upgrade goes away when this triggers. It'll trigger on the first attack made with it. You'll have to fix the gun to be able to use it again. I don't care. That's right. uh no who's little present. There we are. All right, That's no a not no who problem. No who comes over <laughs> to you holding this weapon. It's I'm got this fix it again. large uh, contraption kind of built around it in a way that you can stick your hand up into the uh, to hold the handle, kind of like it's a a gauntlet almost. And there seems to be some sort of rainbow essence kind of spiraling around it. No who, it's so beautiful. Thank you. I'm gonna scoop him up and give him a big hug. Suddenly airborne. Uh, you have a really hard time with that. Nobu has so much equipment on him that he weighs a few hundred pounds. I'll just give, I him give him a, it. I'll try and then fail and then give him a hug on the ground. There you go. I give it two hours before it explodes in your bag. 
Well, hopefully Please, I'm a professional. Thirty minutes or it's free. <laughs> See, it comes with a guarantee. Thirty minutes. Also, mm, you used great. his flyy contraption, so don't be so snarky about it. He's trying. All right, uh, Nova, where do you go from there after you've collected the the weapon from from Nohu? Uh, obviously, Patchy said that somewhere nearby is the the entrance to this facility. Down below, you could tell that to the north and the south there were trails kind of leading off into some bigger chambers when you could see uh, using Stella. Uh, however, it does seem like south was a dead end as Kaizen's kind of yelled back that there's there's nothing there. My guess is that it's in the North Tower because when I was down there, I saw the North and the South had little windy things and Kaizen just said it wasn't there. So maybe we try that one. Also, if that's, a, if that's a fake bathroom, where's the real bathroom? <laughs> you don't want to know. Let's not think about that. Can we just think about the uh, the logic of fake bathrooms and real bathrooms once we say the life of this guy and I don't have this conscious in, is death in my conscience? Well, I can walk and talk at the same time. <laughs> and walk up. So you I head towards know, yeah. the North Did Tower? You, your conscience is what you should be worried about, but yeah. What what should right. be, we be worried about? Please, Kiara, add something constructive to the conversation inside of your, in, instead of your weird little quips that make absolute no sense. You're suggesting things, yet these suggestions make no sense. What are you suggesting? Um, I feel like Kiara's going to walk like right up, right up to Patchy, like get all up in personal space and kind of lean down and we'll um, we'll pull out like a little piece of scratch, no, uh, scratch notebook paper mm -hmm. with like a bunch of tally marks. Um, this is how many minutes you've uh, we've spent um, bickering and discussing all these things. So if Clay dies, and these minutes are more, not more than just your conscience. All right? And just like stuffs it back in the bag and it's just gonna. I am off. the one who's been saying let's try to find this entrance this whole time while everyone else is bickering and creating other things. So don't threaten the only person that can save his, li uh, his life. Whatever, okay? Silverback. <laughs> Stop them and I'm not Silverback! <laughs> All right. But yeah, uh, just headed to the north. As you start walking to the north, threatening your the, the only person that can save her is like very good logic. And he, Patchy he wasn't starts. Threatening. He was just calling you your name. Patchy starts moving in that direction as well. Obviously upset at the moment. No, who? What are you doing for now? Are you going with them too? Yeah, gotta join them for the search of these uh, place. All right, as they can, like, start walking away, and Kaizen, you are behind everyone wearing that ring still. You take a few steps forward, and uh, the shadows of a building nearby coalesce and kind of move towards you as a large winged figure starts walking in your direction. Well, hello there. Nice to see you. Uh, can I see it, too? Uh, you've right. heard something in the distance. If you roll an aware roll, you can hear what he says. Otherwise, it just sounds like, you know, maybe Kaizen's saying something or... Yeah, you can't quite tell. <laughs> Hello, mysterious, creepy, dark, coalesque shadow man. <laughs> you seem to have what? found something of importance to me. Ooh. Something that belongs to my acolytes. And you are? I'm a Daxus, of course. I see. And that is? The god of life and death. Mm hmm. And um, what are you wanting? Those of you that carry this device can speak with me. I wish to give you a job. Well, life and death, that seems pretty balanced, I suppose. What is this job that you are requesting? <laughs> Down below you will find an interesting facility. I believe you are all searching for this thing. There is a container there 
that holds some semblance of what was used here. Collect it. Okay. And I get to keep the ring. Is there anything in return? Are you just asking favors? Are you a friend? What 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 is this what are these details? Complete for me everything that I ask of you. And I will show you the way to return your world. Oh, huh. okay. I'll find you a mile. And uh, then Kaizen, a few steps forward, everything kind of, and the ring turns wood on your finger temporarily. Uh, well, all right then. I put it back in my, actually, I'll just leave it on my finger. Um, no, I won't. I take it off and I put it into a secured pocket. And thanks, last, last coffee bean. You've given me split personalities. <laughs> Did you say a Braxis or a Daxis? Yeah, Daxis. It's a Daxis is Aiden, of... a Braxis uh -huh. mixed together. Uh... Oh, yeah. right, I remember now. Okay, well, that's exciting, you crazy, twisted bastard, Ty. Thank you. <laughs> Often we meet ourselves. Yeah. You'll get like used to it. Black Mirror episode. All right, let's go. As you march with everybody else, you make it over to the tower, and as you head down below, Patchy, you feel those memories kind of welling up again. The last time you walked down here, you were filled with purpose, with hope. Glorious purpose. With glorious purpose. You believe that... You were on the precipice of driving the Empire back from this world, reclaiming it for you and yours, uh, working towards the ultimate goal of getting rid of this plague that was set upon all of you. And that, of course, lasted and, and created this massive failure, this terror, this horror that happened, the fragmentation of your very own unit. The Vincere now turning into terrorists in your mind more than freedom fighters. As you step down these stairs, you see the latrine. <laughs> and as you open it, there is a uh, secret door on the back side. Obviously, some people have used this facility uh, at some point in the past. Old, ancient, gross. But behind the wall, you just slide the panel across and there is a spiral staircase leading down below. There it is, uh, finally. All right, let's take him in then. Down the... Okay. As you all head no, down below, no. uh, the screen fades to black as we go to our break. Thank you very much Yay. for watching, everybody. Hope you're enjoying yourselves. We'll be returning within about 10 minutes, so... Uh, have yourself a nice drink, snack, whatever it is that, that you might possibly want, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the dreams of silver and stone. Last time, they had just found the secret lavatory entrance into an underground <laughs> facility created by the Vincere. Uh, an operations forward base hidden under this very city. An ancient city that uh, unfortunately did not fare so well in the attack that had come on it. But upon entering this, this ancient facility, it's very dark within. The sconces for torches and things like that within the building, some of them uh, obviously made with things like oil or, or whatnot. Some of them, aether lamps, have been damaged over time. Uh, Nohu, you're up first as you are on this new map. Just making sure everybody has that up there. Um, as you're coming down in this direction, Patchy, your lab was in the southwest edge of this this base. Cool. By the way, can I uh, right. take out my lantern to give us light? Certainly That'd can. Let me add your lantern on real quick. Uh, the black areas around you are literally the edges of the, the tunnel, so you're not necessarily going to see outside of those. But you do have a lantern. I can see, though. So you can. can see Most people here have. <laughs> Two. Oh, yeah. In case. Most people here can see in low light situations. Uh, Patchy, you can see in the dark, so. I know, but I, just in case some of us need some light. I'm trying to be considerate right. here, goddammit. You take your lantern out with a little squeak. You're now holding it in one hand. Remember, you only have one hand as long as you have a lantern in it. And there you are. So wait, 
Does no one here need lantern action now that I think about it? There are everyone's elves and kobolds. Uh, no, no who can't see in the dark. Neither can Clay, but Clay's unconscious. Uh, the elves can't see in the dark. They just have extended vision with any light whatsoever. If they end up in a place with no light, they they can't see through that. So your, 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 your lantern's helpful. All right, I'm gonna toss it to the nearest person. Be like, there. This will be help. This will be some help. Uh, you toss it over to Nohu. Oh yeah, God. I'll it. All right. Uh, I need no, my no. hand free, so I'll just be like holding it with my mouth. No, no, no. With your mouth. I'm not. I'm not tossing it. I'm carefully. He just said toss. Handing it over to Nova. To Nova. Not red conning. All right. I, I mean. I mean, he I'm did say away. he was gonna mm. toss. Uh. All right. I'll jump in and grab it. No, who give I'm me an agile roll that. to grab it yeah, with your teeth. Don't... I, I'm not giving it to you. He grabs it with Here his like teeth. You are. are you going to tug of war? You can't just go <laughs> running off. All right. So you did move. I'm the first on the initiative. So, yes, I moved down to the south. All right, uh, let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five. That was six movements. So you used two movement actions to do that? All right, I'll take one back uh, there you go. because my movement is five and see if there's anything worthwhile to notice. As you have moved How further up alive? in here, he just goes and walks with the lantern just dangling under his chin, leaving like this area of shadow directly behind him. Uh, Nohu just bobbles forward, his tail kind of moving behind him. And um, the first thing you notice, Nohu, is that it smells like like mildew or mold or, you know, something. There's a lot of spores in the air. Fungus. Fungal. Ah. There's fungus among us. Oh, uh, yeah. Typical cave. Typical cave smell. Just be careful, everyone. Give me an aware roll as you move up ahead of here, and we'll see if you hear or see anything else. Nope. No, I'm good. You're good. All right. Do you want to save your other action to do to wait or nope, move. keep moving? Keep moving forward. You keep moving forward and uh, you do see some entrances into other areas to your left. Maybe a hallway that continues in front of you. Hard to tell. Um, but you're not hearing anything yet. All clear of now. That's All clear name. now. Shouldn't talk with your mouth full, no who. At least he's going to the right direction. Oh. Okay, so then we move over to next in initiative, which is Clayara. That's me. So Clay is still on um, the floor. You'll all have to say who's moving yeah. him with you as you go. Whoever does so will only have one move action per round, so you won't be able to, to use both. Yeah, I'll start and uh, very begrudgingly, because was really really ready to start going the complete opposite direction that Patchy uh, that know who went, but when Patchy confirmed that that's actually the way we need to go, very begrudgingly we'll yeah. start to take clay. That area to the left uh, is mm -hmm. a very narrow corridor uh with some old mm. tubing and piping you can see through it it's obviously stained with whatever uh mm -hmm. but but it would be hard to crawl through to begin with unless you're maybe skips in does it look like there's maybe like an important lever or, or style like like is there something through this little slit that seems important roll in a wear roll i would love to because I actually have positive modifiers for things that aren't just charming. Critical Ooh. failure. But what if I had an ace for this episode? That's, you do have an ace. You can use that. Thank goodness. All right, let's try that one more time. Nice, 22. Uh, looking through the crack, the most that you can see is the shine of something in the distance. Um, 20, not 22. You yeah. do see the reflection of silver. Hmm. Dang. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have a way to get through there yet. So I think I think I will, at the very least, get Clay um, down in this southern room and then 
we can figure out where we're going from there. All right, so move yourself to where you want to go, and I'll drag Clay after oh, you. Yeah, because I got seven with movement. Oh my gosh. Just everything that Clay doesn't have is where Kiara <laughs> has. Um, oh, I don't. Can I control Kiara? You should be able to drag her. It's just dragging the math, so. You gotta try. To do you, the you mouse, click on your click, wheel? Yeah, click on Kiara to make sure there's a, a circle around the character token. Oh well, that's weird. Okay, now I can. All right. Uh... No, but you're not moving. I know. There you go. Jiggling. Seven. I can jiggle if go. I want to. All right. Growing pains with a uh, new system. And uh, with the the little bit of light coming off of Nohu's tool, you can see that there's a a courtyard down below. Give me an aware roll. Alrighty. Oh, but you don't hear or see anything either. I keep hitting agile instead of aware somehow. That's my bad. <laughs> All right. Well, so you've oh, dragged sorry. Clay behind you, uh, and he's just kind of, <laughs> you're just pulling him along on the ground. You're sure whatever's happening isn't great. Give me a tough roll for Clay at this point, as it's been some more time here. Difficulty 17 roll, a 17 or higher roll target is 17 or higher. That's a high plus, roll target. Plus two. Mm. There you are. As uh, as Clay Ooh. continues, you hear him kind of moan in pain for a second, and then he just kind of moves a little. What can I say? I'm really good at just being unconscious. <laughs> the Kaisen, best. You are up. All right. Nova. You. Yes. I've just had quite the experience that I'm a bit confused about. It's okay. I talk to myself sometimes, too. Nobody's going to judge you. Oh, good. Um, I, I found something that is rather strange, and it introduced me to quite a colorful character, and I don't know what to do exactly. Oh. What? I don't know why I picked up your accent. <laughs> I'm not sure either. Um. <laughs> Oh, what, 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 what's going on? Are you... So what's apparently there's this god of life and death and uh, he wants me to find him something down here and says that he can actually get me away back to my planet. Should I trust a god of life and death? Is his name Abraxas? It was something very similar to that, yes. Maybe. I kind of blew up before I saw the resolution of that situation. That's true. <laughs> Sounds charming. Um, wait, let me think. So it was a really, 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 really long time ago. But I'm pretty sure he came to destroy the ship that I was on. <laughs> so... Hard maybe. Not. Possibly? People change. It's been a long time. You said life and death? I think it was just death back then. Uh, Is that similar? <laughs> Is it Braxis? You know what? Never mind. I'll just do some huh? deep thought on the subject. And I will walk forward looking for this vial. <laughs> <laughs> All right, start moving. Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, that is exactly one, what I was looking for. <laughs> one movement action. Would you like to use another one? Um, yes, I do. I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to hand or hold out the pieces of random crap that I found to Nohu and see if he enjoys them. Uh, um, all right. Nohu, all I right. noticed you're quite the collector, and I found these up at the higher level, and I wondered if you could use them. And I hand out broken machine parts and spark powder that is wet and gross. Uh, Nohu, give me a brains roll as he hands you these items. Brains roll. Yep. All right. You can tell immediately that the spark powder is wasted and useless. At this point, it's been uh, denatured to the point where it's basically dirt. However, the parts that he gives you belong to some old uh, military hardware that are actually in great shape. And he gives you five high-grade scrap. Oh, well. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this 
and the powder doesn't work anymore. It's like dust already. But these are cool. I'll, I'll make something out of this. Right. Great. Thanks. Excellent. You're welcome. All right. Making friends already. <laughs> Kaisen's turn is over. And uh, Kaisen, roll aware. Yeah. All right. Hold on. That is a 16. So as you're walking through here, again, you're getting that kind of mildewy, gross smell. There's some ancient, acrid uh, kind of cheesiness behind from the fact that this used to be a sewer tunnel. Um, there is obviously some chemical odors, but you're, you're beginning to hear a scraping noise in the distance uh, that you're not sure what it is, followed by some like kind of wet, squishy sounds. I hear something in the distance. It's grapey and squishy. Oh. And this is food? It doesn't sound like food. It How does sound like that? it's uh, coming from that direction somewhere. It's over in that area over there. And it is now Patchy's turn. I'll go to where they are all... <laughs> the direction where I know the lab is. And, uh, ooh, so much things. Um, so which direction would the lab be? It was southwest of you. Southwest, all right. We're going southwest! Can, can I go more? No. Uh, yeah, you're currently blocked in at the moment, so you save your action. Am I blocked? Uh, not ex Exactly. I mean, you can go around everybody, but it's going to require you just to kind of wiggle your way. I can just walk on the walls. Clay I can skitter around them. True. And Clay's unconscious. He just has to step over him. I need. I can like climb above them, literally. As you look down, Patchy, you can see that Clay's in some of the late stages of this chemical compound. His his organs are starting to <sighs> break down. Is there anything I can do to help him? You could try to create a concoction that'll stave off some of the worst of these effects temporarily. Have I lost any of my overload? Uh, I will give you all back one regen application after the, the walk and the travel here. You have not actually been resting. resting. Oh, so gracious. So everybody gain back that amount of health and uh, reduce your overload by your... Oh, well, I'm regen. definitely going to go do what I was thinking about doing now. So wait, uh, my... Uh, free. Okay, then I, I make I give him uh, three toughness to to All resist right. this. You create your uh, your brew, putting together. What are you gonna use in it? Um, what am I gonna use? Uh, some like bits of scraped off skin from my little uh, man. My 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 thing, uh, the 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 mantis thing, Skin bone bit, flex bone from bits that. from that. There you go, chitin. Yeah. Uh, how how much how much worth is that? That's just one. One that ah, shit. Okay. Uh, also, little dust that the, that that little dwarf aether mage left behind, probably with all his little magicy dues. Okay, some aether mage dust. That's worth one. So there's the two you needed. And what liquid are you gonna use? So wait, I, I want I want to do more than like how how much effect okay. does that do? That's, uh, that counts as the two two uniques. Uniques. Uh, this is the uh, into the cauldron. You was that it? Spit? Yes, That's into the it. cauldron. Um, uh, what about sweat? You can use sweat if you have enough of it. S sweat from Nova. Nova sweat is like. Four. When did you collect Nova sweat? Wait a second. I'm sure she's sweating right now. She just asked if she wants. She did to, fill wants... vials with sweat. everything on her walk last episode. Did she not? She was like, mm -hmm. and peeling things mm -hmm. and doing everything. This I, is true. I remember this moment. Yeah, All right. and it is a very humid climate, and you know I'm used to a more drier well, climate, so I'll me, probably be sweating. Give me a tough roll, and we'll see how how sweaty you were. 
Counterpoint, That's it's been weird. raining all along. So it has been raining this whole time. No. Come on, uh, no. So yeah, Who's there was not enough. There's not enough sweat there tired. for you to collect. It's mostly what? water. No, you rain. wanted me to roll tough. The higher the toughness, the less I would have right. sweat, you were right? So the lower, the higher I would have sweat. Now, you can give me a brains roll to see if you're able to collect sweat during a rainstorm. That wasn't contaminated oh, oh. by water. Just like, I'll shelter with my arm. Ooh, this is gross. <laughs> hey, he draws it from your <laughs> armpit while you're standing there in the rain. Uh, no, you could not collect Nova Sweat. Okay, it's diluted, but it's still <laughs> fine. Okay, uh, bits from the, from the exploded dwarf. Exploded dwarf bits. Okay, so that's another. Yeah, that's a three. One part liver... One part um, kidney, so All two right. unique items. So you're there. at four unique items total now, but you still yeah. need your. I'm liquid. not gonna you're do gonna six use. because you'll do another side effect, and I don't want two side effects on him. I don't think you can handle it right now. <laughs> Guess you never know. All right, so we're doing four. That's at a plus one to all effects roll. Uh, so go ahead and spend your overload, and we'll see what type of effect you get. Side effect table comes out. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. So as you pour this stuff into uh, Clay's throat and it starts to, to move down and he swallows it, suddenly he starts to get thicker and, and thicker as his skin expands outward a bit. Um, and then you notice that as you tap on his arm, it's like, it's like hard, like wood or bone or leather. And... Uh, he, oh! <laughs> he seems to have grown a thick height. This is height. a good one! This is a good one! This will protect him from the elements! This is good! This is good! This is so good! Yeah! You welcome, Clay! <laughs> isn't isn't I mean, no, he no, like. I'm, I'm, I'm stop it. Kiara, never mind. You, you welcome, Clay. Ah, uh, dear Clay. You, you're gonna be okay. Uh, okay, so yeah, she, 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 immunity booster. There you go. You're part bark now. Uh, so, uh, not, not a lot of people get this experience. Enjoy it while you can. You're connected to life and shit. Oh, uh, let's go. Uh, Clay, give me, give me a tough roll to see if you gain any, any, uh, consciousness at all from this. Yeah, for sure. Plus two, and nope, you're still mm -hmm, unconscious. No, no. Dice do not want. <laughs> all right. Nova, it is your turn. You see uh, Apache move over to Clay and just put a whole bunch of gloop into a container, mash it together, and then pour this thick, viscous pink glop inside of Clay's mouth, which then causes him to thicken and harden. I just said that. You did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, physically. In his skin areas, not in. Never mind. Anyways, oh, yeah, no. Uh, Nova. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Let's, going, let's just, we're not. We Paint don't need us to a keep picture. Going. It's okay. Yeah, we need a new <laughs> All right, Nova. He, Please tell me more about how shook my it a little, thing. right? Yeah, I mean the parts, you know, in the areas. Um, I'm gonna go join everybody. Oh, okay. I can go so much farther than everybody else. Must be my not elfness. Um, <laughs> ooh, and I can see. Is there a door there? There is. That is what the, stairs uh, the, the stairs would they're just open. You can go down the stairs. Uh, to your left is a section that's barricaded off by fallen stone and whatnot. However, and there's the fragments of an old statue kind of in front of you as well. What is the statue of? You I would tell. like to inspect broken. the statue. Of. It was crushed at some point, but you do see something oh. that looks like a, a rodent ear. Patchy statue. Ugh. You have a statue, Patchy. <laughs> Thank you for the a sub. Patchy, bomb. If you will. Everybody gains. <laughs> hey! Everybody gains a uh, ace for the episode. Uh, Yay! Oh my um, God, so much. I see the door down. Um, so I'm gonna go my seven, which I think was one more, and then keep walking. I have seen. Patchy put so many random goops, liquids, and various things in or out of people and places that I don't think I notice anymore. So you're moving further. Where else did you go? You still have six move left if you're moving for your second action as well. Oh, I'm going to go to the staircase and look inside the room. All right. 
You step down onto the staircase where you see some sort of strange <laughs> little that? creature, uh, and it turns towards you and soundlessly just Hello? starts squishing in your direction. Hello? It creature? Doesn't seem Animal? To be I'm talking a Disney to you. princess. It does, you can't speak to this creature. It, it is a fungoid. Shit, I should have taken that other goddamn thingy majigger. Guys! Um, there's a walking, glooping, moving mushroom in here. Is that normal? Do I do I know what that would be? Uh, Believe you won't it? know until you can see it. You can't even see it at the moment. Clay, give us your best groan. Go. <laughs> <laughs> that comes from Clay, and it is now know who's turn. <laughs> oh, very well then. Uh, seeing as I was told not to hold things in my mouth, I'll pass the lantern over to my tail. I'll hang it there, and I'll make my move. All right, you move over there. You move past clank, Nova. Clanky, clank, clanky, clank. And you kind of have to climb around these these pillars that are supporting the ceiling, squeezing in between them a little bit. You find that this area is uh, probably blocked off by mostly rubble and fallen debris. The tunnel that used to be here is damaged. All right. Um, I'm not seeing anything. Where? No, you gotta come. Can I pull him into so the she doorway like, grab and grab his a little hold face and point it out? She points that it's down the stairwell over here. Oh, oh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, there. As you move over, you see this creature standing in the darkness, kind of starting to move in this direction. Give me an aware roll. All right. You also notice at just the edges of vision that there are two more of them. Oh, I count three of them. Oh. They seem nice. For dinner. <laughs> oh. Well, I did I'm my not two sure movements. I agree so. with either of those that is left. no who's turn. Clayara, you're up. Hmm. Oh, ooh, actually, you know, that might give, um, sorry, uh, I think I'm gonna honestly just make a quick roll to see if Clara is going to do the thing that might make her money or not, because I had an idea. That no, okay, good. okay. So I will save that for later. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to take a move up, get right about there. You move into the room, coming down the stairs, and find yourself surrounded by these creatures now, as you just kind of sprint down here. Mm-hmm. And then, let me take just to make sure I have this right. Ooh, yeah. So then, by my or if I could, maybe actually, and a little bit back. One, two, three. Yeah. So then by my looking, if I pulled out my scatter gun, I should be able to get both those southern ones since it has a range of four, yeah? Uh, it does. Let me see here. From your it's position... Four, four wide cone. Or four long cone. No, that's that's what you would hit. Oh, okay. So if I if I go back to where I was, I think I can actually get the two of them. Yeah, from there, you should be yeah, able okay. to do... Yeah, okay. Great. You'll... you'll... <laughs> Um, now, Kiara has, like, earplugs in, in, but this is gonna be fun for y'all, but yeah, I'm gonna fire my, sc the scatter gun. Go ahead and roll um, your attack. Bam! <laughs> Boom! 22. Let's you fire out, uh, a, a large spray in this area, and the, the bullets kind of pepper into the first one, and you see them sinking a little bit slowly into this flesh. The other one, you see the bullets hit it, and then they fall out. So go ahead and roll for Just damage, the first one. Don't love that, but... That is six points of damage. And, uh, yeah, the other one doesn't seem to be injured. All right, all right. But that'll be... That's all I can do for now. And Clara has used one of the MV ammo. I've taken that off for you. And we're moving on to the next person. Kaizen, your turn. 
do, do, do. I'm going to move right here. All right, you move on to the stairwell. You can see all these creatures oh, hey. and everybody down below. Oh, hey, girl, hi. Uh, and then I am going to go into introspection. Uh, you've already acted this round, which means you cannot use introspection. Oh, yeah, I'm walking. Ugh, that's right. Okay, well then, but I will go into is waiting. Is this an actual one? <laughs> Uh, waiting. You cannot take any action other than defense or resistance rolls to use this ability. You've used one standard action to move. You can't use waiting. Damn it! I was I... just wondering if he could use the same loophole that I did earlier if we're not in actual initiative. But You are in actual I'm... initiative at this point, though. I kind of thought you might say that because of the bad guys, but I was trying for you, Steven. <laughs> ah, thanks. Okay, so one breath release, and I'm going to shoot the closest one to me. All right, nearest one you can see. Go ahead and make your attack. You hit. Go ahead and roll for damage. Perfect. Your arrow whips through the air, slams into its leg. You see the arrow, like, sink a little bit shorter than you'd anticipated going where it stops. It's now sticking out of the thing's leg. Okie doke. And that's Kaizen's turn. The first one kind of moves forward. just kind of shambling in this direction. Um, it seems to be Nohu attracted to the light uh, at the moment. As it gets closer, you see it just lunge in towards you, attempting to, to smash the vessel. All right, then. I'll defend myself. It gets a 12 to hit versus your 14 to defend. So you're able to just narrowly dodge the side. saw that one. Hmm? So close. It was, it was, it was real close good. to that one. It was... It was... Yara, two good. move in on you. One of them lunges forward like a bear hug, while the other one has its, its little hands, raises it up, and you see these little holes appear on it. And a whole bunch of little pff, spores go spraying out in your face. But have you considered nope? Uh, as I want to, as <laughs> just going to dodge roll away. Um, I, I like to imagine it, what it is, is like runs up, fires the scatter gun, and uses the like, kind of kick back to kind of just leap backwards um, to safety. All right. Um, so you have plus two defense, and you'll be able to move uh, either way. And we'll see if you get out of the way of the attacks. First one coming at Kiara is a 10, 11, and the second one coming at you is a 16. So I get plus two to both of these, right? Yep, that, you'll need to make the one roll because you're jumping with that single roll. You got a 27, 27. <laughs> and go ahead and move move two squares as you immediately just jump aside. Amazing. Um, We're going to... Can I can I go like on this statue here, or is it like a full statue? Uh, it's all the way up to the ceiling. The head is actually embedded uh, in the ceiling. Then we'll we'll go like here. Okay. So you just leap to the side around the statue, ending up against the yeah. wall with your back there again, these creatures kind of moving towards you. Uh, deeper cool. within the facility, um, you hear something and the ground kind of moves a little bit. Patchy, <laughs> over to you. Do I know what these things are? I mean, you'd have to see them up close before you could determine anything. You can't currently see them. I can oh, see them see in one. my map right now, which I, means I'm assuming I know I can see them. You see one come around the corner. Um, give me a brains roll. All right. With a 17, you believe this... <laughs> so there was more research going on here than just the... Uh, just the you know, death cloud you had created upstairs that melted people. Um, there was work being done. Don't say you use... created. I didn't create such a thing. I mean, you did make that Go with on. anyway. So uh, some of the research that you I had done do had that. been it's... into had been into the mushrooms on Myosinus themselves. They had been affected by the Halophage just as just like everybody else. They had grown rapidly, and you found that you could hybridize uh, some of those shrooms with small rodents and creatures. A long time ago in lab it's a line of work that didn't go anywhere because it would still take a, a great deal of time you thought and effort in order to make them grow you now believe that they were mutated by the the toxin and have become bigger and 
like, are they naturally just aggressive and want to uh, kill? Like, would they, I know that they're like... They were uh, constantly trying to consume anything that they could get a hold of when they were little. Mostly it was refuse and things like that. They had a... They, they hated light. Um, so now that they're big, you think they probably need a lot more food sources. They were able to, to absorb some organic matter from dirt and from things around them. They actually have done, uh, now that you're, you're thinking about it, when you were down in this lab before, there were a lot of places that were far more messy. And it seems that they've been like siphoning off uh, organic refuse and using that to grow. Huh. Okay, well, uh, these things are attracted to the light. Just throw a light source somewhere else and let's move on. This is, we're wasting time. And um, I try to grab clay and try to move away. I do, do I have more light stuff on me? Uh, on you? I don't think so. Let's Does see. my lantern that know who stole? You threw it. <laughs> I passed it along. Uh, you've got some oil you could burn. Uh, mm. That's usually used to fill your lantern, but that's that's basically it. Something inside of your your uh, rooster satchel you might be able to turn into light, maybe. I'm going to... Uh, is there anyone carrying clay at this moment? No, uh, Kiara left clay on the ground. I'm going to come here and... Uh, so which direction where do we need to be uh, go for the lab it's down this way huh okay then i'm going to throw the some of my oil to the northwest part of the map chuck so it as far as i can you can throw up to your strength times five uh distance so no 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 it's one distance per strength plus 10 or just uh one distance plus strength for 10 feet too. Okay, let me clarify because my brain is all foggy. You can throw it a minimum of two distance away, plus one per strength. Um, you currently have a minus two strong, so minimum is two distance. That's as far as you can throw because of how weak you are. Then can I make a, like an impromptu, like little Molotov cocktail-y thing? Uh, give me a brains roll as you attempt to mix oil into a flask and uh, put a cloth into it and see what you can do. What about a slingshot? Uh, I'm smarter than that. Okay, Ugh. with that roll, you, you make one, but it's messy. I don't like You're that. emotionally distraught, <laughs> I don't like that. Fine, I make that and I pass it to, to Nova. Uh, I mean, you toss it and, to Nova. I give it oh, to Nova. Over, I give okay. it. I, I, I like. I, I like. Extend my hand. I tap her right. on the shoulder. Nova, I'd be like, "Can you please grab this? Get a hold of this." He hands you um, something wet with oil that kind of runs down your hand. Um, uh, you want me to... we should light that and throw it in that direction, or maybe you can give it to your like buddies that you say you have. I don't know. Like, I, I anything is possible at this point. I'm not saying I believe you would speak to animals, but I believe that you might have some imaginary friends that somewhat are real. So, like, maybe you can give it to them and they can, like, pass it along that direction and we can light it and pop it so these things can go to that. Because I don't want to waste more time trying to kill things when we need to, you know, go to this lab thing. Okay, that's a good idea because I have a negative four strength. So handing this to me to deal with was probably never not, mind. But <laughs> to Kiara over there. No, no, or no, no, LCB no. gives. Uh, let's let's, let's, can... let's let. Hold on. LCB has given Nova plus one. Oh, the next roll. Let's make one. One. let's make and a two. giving train. Give what you are in front of me, and you should give it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna grab his little snout. <laughs> I can give it to Stella. Yes, um, your imaginary will friend will be good and use then, at this point. I am a yes. So and then yeah, I'm gonna use adherent, and then I'm gonna have Stella go take it over to a spot, and then I'm gonna say, "No, who? No, who? Do you want to use that lantern? You have to make a big explosion." All right, where are you gonna have Stella bring the the object? Over where Patchy pointed. It's up to ten distance away, away so. Uh, one, two, three. So over on the other side of that chair. Okay, so to that spot up here. Yes, is that right. where you pointed out, Sanon? 
I tried to, I pointed out the northwest cor corner, like as far as we can, as the sh shortest amount of time. Well, okay. the most distance you can get it is there with Stella. Well, I don't want to send it too far because my whole plan is to hope that like know who will throw the lantern and light the thing so I don't have to light it in anybody's so, mouth. What, what about this? What about on this? Your finger. If your uh, imaginary friend, since, you know, works, hypothetical, uh, and, you know, is incorporeal and, you know, can take on fire, maybe, uh, you know, know who can throw that lantern to it right now, and then your imaginary friend can become fiery imaginary friend and go that direction. No, that's not nice. No. Can it feel pain? It's imaginary. Yes. No. Yes, it is not imaginary. Yes, it can feel pain. Can it feel fire if it's like some sort of aethery thing? Do we really want to have this conversation right now? No, who do you mind blowing this up over there? No, he already takes out that piece of paper and draws another <laughs> tally mark. <laughs> As this comes on. Pay attention instead of trying to track the minutes, you awesome! Oh, I spit it in the camera. <laughs> oh, <laughs> David. I'm trying to, uh, instead of uh, timing this thing, there are more right, things right. than that! Nova, Nova, you gain another plus one to your next roll, so under your modifier down there in the bottom <laughs> left, just put a plus two on there. Um, <laughs> no one... No one can do that on purpose. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed. Okay. All right. So Nova. Uh, In theater, they say if you're not spitting, you're not articulating. Do that. So Nova, you send. Uh, what am I doing? You send. Uh, well, not one, you're true, spending your overload because you're using your adherent spending ability. overload. And you're having uh, your adherent. You're having Stella carry mm -hmm. the Molotov across the room. Right. And then okay. I want her to drop it. And then I'm going to ask Nohu to toss the lantern. All right. So on Nohu, on your turn, there is... Which will also get it out of his face, so hopefully Mushroom Dude will leave him alone. There is a, a bottle leaking oil all over the ground with a rag in it on that side of the room. Fine. It's got a nice little trail leading from Nova all the way to it. You know, I had a flint and steel. It is now... I want Clay's it far away. It's dripping turn. and leaking all over me. I don't want to light it anywhere near me. Clay, roll tough as you're starting to enter the final throws of this. You do have plus five to your tough rolls because of... Or plus five? Plus three. Plus three to your tough rolls because of Patchy's administration. Um, thank you, everybody, for the plus ones. I don't think I am needing them. Uh, there's a, a pain, painful groan as Clay takes one more wound now at four. May I donate my two um, points over to Clay? Would that, that wouldn't get him there. He needs to have a okay. 17 or higher. I'm sorry. Yeah, we will we'll, we'll ways off. Does Clay have aces? Clay can use his aces, but uh, you got two if you want to use one. Yeah, yeah well, I'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. All right, save them for now. Nohu, we move over to you. Yeah, I look over at Patchy and be like, you're so smart! And I grab the lantern and I toss it with all of my minus two strength. <laughs> plus reach. plus and two I take plus a look one. At it. I take a look at it and I'm like, don't worry, I got it! And I'll run over to the place where the bottle of, uh, of oil is and I pour it all over myself and I uh, ignite with it uh, a gamma. And I set myself on fire, like literal fire. No, okay. who is now blazing that on is fire. Not what I meant. Also, you're twice as strong as me, know who, so don't be thinking it was weird I asked you to huck that thing. See, see, instead of our your imaginary friend, now our real friend is burning. I Good do going. not claim responsibility for the actions oh, of that No, I do not claim responsibility for the knocking out thing! <laughs> Clay uh, receives a little bit of healing from the Eternal McSherry, uh, getting plus two health back, but that doesn't remove wounds, unfortunately. Hi, McSherry! All right. I'm a distraction. As you're standing up there, know who very, very bright. You see all of the creatures kind of turn towards you, and so do the others with them. Uh, as two well, more they, seem but... to have come from this side, uh, we now move to Clayara. You're up. Okay. So. Hmm. All right. 
here's, I think, what we got to try and do. So, follow me here, Ty. What I want to do is I want to get some cloth like from like a bedroll or whatever, and I have a lighter so I can make it on fire. And then I want to get flashy and make it bounce a, basically down this little convenient conga line that they made for themselves so they're on the so that the like burning rags end up like on the other side of them to us all right so where do you uh show me where on the map you wanted to try to go um yeah like if i'm moving around i wanted to kind of like bowing boing that one's a big leap i understand so what well, i understand some chaos or shenaniganry might be indicated there and then kind of behind all of them here so maybe the ones that just showed up don't come towards us and so also over push. here is that what you're saying yeah exactly uh, moving your token doesn't do that anymore i can't see what that oh, does you have to use arrows gotcha. Understood. Uh, but yes, right. you, you understood me perfectly. So you're attempting to just bounce it around and get it over. That is going to have to take uh, <laughs> applications of of chaos. Uh, yeah, how many of those would of you course. like to use? Ooh, One or two that's applications? That's a great question. Um, two. All right. With two, you'll be able to make that distance. It'll bounce around like a you know jumping bean of some kind. Uh, nice. Go ahead and give me a magical roll as you attempt to do this. Oh, magical. Good. Yes. Oh, great. Yes. Okay. Huh. That is unfortunately a chaos roll. You have to get higher than a 10 to avoid one naturally. But we have that ace. There goes the ace. This is going to. Nat 20! <laughs> All right. Uh, do you want to provide yourself an advantage here by making it so you, you charge this attack, this this trick up so strongly that you feel vibrating and the next attack you do will have added physical damage involved in it? Or uh, do you want to make this this bounce far more uh, likely to succeed on distracting them? Yeah, I want the distraction. That was the that was the goal here. Let's go. Okay. So uh, they will now have a higher roll target to avoid distraction from that flame. Yes. And that is what Kiara does. So this thing on fire, this little bedroll thing just... So boom, I, I'm boom. now imagining instead of like, I was like trying to like bounce it almost like um, like in, in like those games where you're like throwing pitches, but it's like Mario throwing pitches or like the like those old those classic games on the GameCube where it just like all of a sudden has like the like meteor effect just like <laughs> ping ponging uh like between them. Like comet. there you go. <laughs> Flying through the area. Suddenly uh they all seem to be like moving and facing towards the flames and some of them are like burning out on them really quickly. And it is now Kaizen's turn. Okay. Since I'm thinking these things are going to be distracted, I walk out into the middle of the room. While looking around, because I know what direction the lab is, but I'm looking around for anywhere else where this item may be that I am in search of. As you move into that position, you see something moving and almost sleeping attached to the wall nearby. Almost. <laughs> I Whoops. saw that. Did you guys see that? I saw it. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Why does it keep disappearing? Oh, it's supposed to be disappearing. That's okay. It can just, just be on its way. I was going to suggest you go up to just the lab and see what's on the slab, on. but that, that's what's on the slab. You don't want that, though. Mm -hmm. I'm shivering with anticipation. Mm -hmm. How about some nope? How about some nah? <laughs> I'm out of here. Sorry, Frankie. Wow. I, I, think, <laughs> I think you do see that one, Kaizen. All right, so you move over to that position. You see that massive one that's just kind of moving against the ceiling and the wall. Uh, you see, like, the tendrils around it are all, all kind of flinching. And as every single one of these little creatures starts moving about, you see, like, little flagella on the bottom of this kind of flickering. It seems like it's controlling them all. Okay. So, there's something over here. A big one. 
It controls the others. Mm. Good, let's kill it. <clears throat> okay. All right, so um, then I look around, like, any of these staircases anywhere that may lead somewhere else other than the lab, and before making my next move. Uh, give me the magical roll real quick. Okay. Two. Yeah. Nothing that helps you. Okie doke. Then I am going to go position myself quietly over here. All right. You move in that direction. Give me an agile roll to do it quietly. Quietly. Quiet that is enough. a 13. All right. Uh, we'll see if it notices you here in a moment. The big thing in the middle of the room rolls to see if it hears Kaizen or is aware of his presence. It gets a 12. So you're fine at the moment. Whew, okay. And it continues slumbering at the moment, although you see it's agitated as the flames on the ground and the burning individual up north uh, seem to be bothering it for some reason. Uh, that we would now... be like a burning individual. Oh, that's no who. We now have these critters uh, have to determine if they're going after the fire, which is right there, or after Nohu. So every time I roll for each one of these to see which one of the distractions are there, uh, anything above a uh, anything above an eight is going for the flame bouncy thing. Anything below an eight is heading towards Nohu at the moment. All right, so this one turns and like runs over towards the flame. And you see it just starts stomping with that big rubbery foot of its towards trying to put the fire out. And the next one goes. This one also heads towards the flame around the corner, running with its friend. The next one Aww. turn or doesn't even turn, rushes over towards Nohu and immediately just tries to jump on top of him. All right. The last yeah. one. All, uh, nope, also goes over and starts stamping the fire, trying to put it out. Uh, so, no, who? This one that attacks you leaps forward, lunging at you, and gets a nine. And <laughs> your armor, your defenses. So, in this case, your armor protected you. Uh, what does that look like as this thing tries to flatten you? Well, I am set on, on fire, so there's a lot of fire with which to try to stamp out. And as I'm on a, a bit of a puddle of oil, he's like, trying to stamp out, but I just move away and leave like a patch of burning fire, which he does like goes against it. That's why he doesn't hit me. All right. So he like hits that and he kind of moves about. You see fire kind of lick up the front of this creature. No, you've been on fire for a little while now. Uh, it's just around now. Yep. Less than around. Yeah, it'll be around here shortly. Uh, Patchy, your turn. So, um, uh... Are these things distracted by all the fire and stuff? They seem to be at the moment. And where's Clay? Oh, there's one more. I'm sorry, I didn't roll for the last one. Give me one second. Clay should be back where you left him. Last one. Wait, didn't can't you see take Clay, you Clay with you? when? Patchy when... can't see Clay because of oh. where he's located at. Uh, I see. <laughs> Clay is right around the corner where you left him on the ground. I'm not really strong enough to carry clay, but I, like, uh... He can handle being dragged now, because he's thickened. Because <laughs> he's thick. true, in his thickness. You're gonna I'm gonna go... start dragging clay, or trying to pick up clay, and take clay to the lab, while these other things seem to be distracted with everyone else. Alright, you're able to get him back to the position. Hey, goal oriented right, right now. All of your movement puts you right back where you're at now with Clay. So you move back there, you grab him, and he just slides across the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, you know what? No, wait. I'm going to go get Clay. Clay, yeah. Um, and uh, I'm going to really regret this. Um, but uh, I am going to make um, two, two potions. Oh, wait. I, I need to take... I can only do one at a time, right? You can only do one at a time, yep. Um, uh, wait. I'm trying to find the right thing. You're going to make yourself stronger? Which one's the gonna... one where I jump? 
that's the the paste. Someone should call that gummy berry juice. That's your it your uh, the paste? mashup poly paste. Mush up poly paste. You can kick something into distance uh. six. No, I'm going to um. First off, gonna make uh, the strength one. Okay. For myself. Okay. So you make a strength brew for yourself, and you slug it back. Use your overload uh, for that. Yeah. It, it, oh, and it, uh, it's going. To, it's going to be um wait. So if I use the jump one, do you think I can get where the lab is from there, from here to there much faster from where I am at? Is there a clear shot? There's not a clear shot. It's also far greater than six distance away. Ah, shit. I was going to try to grab Clay with the strength and throw, launch myself with that to the direction, but I don't think I can do that. Then. I mean, that's um, helpful. You could use chaos and see what you can accomplish. I'm going to just do the strength thing so I can carry Clay. Uh, okay. That, that three. So um, I'm going to use the rest of the, the 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 dwarf bits. So I did use the liver and kidney, the heart and the stomach and the, and the uh, now, hairs. You have, you have two tolerance. Haggis. I mean, Haggis. you know, it might be a good time to use some pretty big, big hitters here. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna try to. Ooh, no, you you know you you say that, and I'm now I'm scared. So I'm gonna do two effects, just enough to do, uh, just to make it like twice as strong, okay. without one um, tolerance thing, uh, as side effect. So give me that side effect. Give me, give me, give me. All right. Your side effect is super strength. <laughs> The user becomes a landlocked sea urchin of equal height. They can only move around move two. They come into contact with other beings. They can they stab them for damage. So uh, you begin forming into a sea urchin. Unless uh, I have lost you. Why? You have no audio, Sanan. I think you are muted. <laughs> what would the good version of this be? A uh, good version of this would be that. Uh, good version. You would be able to move further and move your thorns around not to poke your allies. But I'm still slow. Yeah. And you don't want to have it's hands. It's not good. I mean, it's strong. You are you are, you are, are a very pokey thing that causes damage just by coming into contact with enemies. Reroll. All right. Re -roll. That's going to be a reroll. So you're using tolerance to reroll. Here we go for roll number two. A sticky substance begins to be produced from a spinneret near your tailbone. This can create sticky silk rope up to distance two per round. This grants plus four to climbing rolls, lasts until the end of the scene. You now have a spider spinneret uh, coming out of a space right around your tail hole. Can I use that to tie clay on me? Yes, you can. Yes! Okay! Great! Suddenly you just I'm turn. I'm fucking... I, uh, now that I'm steroided up, I'm super fucking strong, and I'm uh, and I'm and I'm, yeah, I can feel it. And now I, and now I'm gonna tie tail on it, uh, but tie clay on my back. So you move over, you lift me. up, give me a strong roll, and we'll see uh, if you can get what, him up there on your back. How many plus is this? It's plus three. You only need to roll a twelve oh, or higher fuck. to be able to lift him onto your back. He has a 19! So, uh, Patchy just goes over, grabs a hold of Clay, big ol' muscles flexing, puts him on his back. With your tail, you, like, <clears throat> lick the spinnerets up in your tail tip, and then just spin him, tie Clay around you, and then you turn and begin moving. So you can now move at normal rate with him on you. And I'm gonna start running. Alright, so, uh, well, that was your turn, year. though. You did move already, yeah. Uh, you have two move left, Let's though, so go, you can boy. move what? to there. So you do have two move left. Right. Oh, wait, can I skitter like this since it's tied to me? You can. Can I just walk on the walls where no one can really attack me? Yes, you can do that starting on your next turn, of course. Cool. Yeah. Not terrifying at all. And uh, Nova, you're up. Those creatures uh... are all over the place. Uh... <laughs> There's a very big one in the room somewhere nearby. 
And uh, they all seem to be, some of them are, in, are, are attracted over there towards Nohu. Uh, some of them have just gone and they're starting to put out this fire. You're sure they're going to come back at some point. Do I remember, or do I know, have we ran into a circumstance in which I was aware that Nohu is not going to be killed by flames? Um, give me a brains roll. I feel like if I didn't know that, I would be concerned. Hey, give me a brains roll as you stare at Nohu. You wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Nohu does some crazy stuff sometimes. Sure. But, uh, um, I don't know how much I know about kobolds. True. Um, With this brains roll, 14. You are aware that some kobolds are capable of developing various immune responses to things, or immune, yeah, immune uh, immunities to things like being able to breathe underwater or dig through the ground. Some of them become fireproof. In this case, it looks like Nohu is. However, with that brains roll, know whose supplies and stuff on him are not, and he happens to have a bunch of spark powder patches and grenades. I know. <laughs> I know, he says. Of course you know. Um. Back. I know. I wish I was an Aether Mage right now, because, like, Maz would just go psh and then go right. do business. But I'm limited by, like, physics and shit. Um, Hemina, Hemina. How, um, upon your person, know who, whereabouts located are is your Sprite Powder and your grenades? Are they, like, in a similar area? or spread? It's all the stuff in the backpack. This is a big backpack full of all kinds of things. Yeah. So Stella's gonna steal. Like bulging and living like. Bulgy backpack. Gotcha. Yeah. Stella's gonna steal his backpack, and I will use chaos if I must. You have to. Stella can only carry one weight, uh, a one weight object. In order to carry Nohu's backpack, which is somewhere around eighty-five weight. I don't think she doesn't need to carry it. What I'm looking (laughs) for is pulling it off and then dragging it away. All right. So hopefully to water. Two applications of chaos. If it's on fire. If it's successful with a roll, yeah. If it's successful with a roll higher than I'm gonna say 16, and two applications of chaos, I'll allow you to drag his backpack away. Uh, so give me How a overload. Is that? Give me a charming roll. It's two overload. I'm still fine. Charming. Charming. Yep. Last coffee bean has given. An ace to an Nova. An ace to Nova. Thank you, Les Coffee Bean. I also, that's an 18. Can uh, I'm sure that's success, but would it be more success if I use those previous two plus ones Absolutely. that I got that I didn't get to use on the last time? Yep. Okay, then that's a 20. All right. And I'm going to bank that ace, Les Coffee Bean. You're my hero. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Nohu, as you're standing there, suddenly something, you see the face of something that looks vaguely koboldian, sort of? <laughs> Just kind of, and then suddenly your backpack is being tugged off of your back and dragged away from you. It's adorable. Oh. Think of like a bulldog mixed with a lizard. I just see like these traps that they're on, on either side, like burning away, and that the backpack is like, oh, like just being like dragged away. Oh, oh thank you. I, I forgot I was carrying it. Thanks. I would have hate to lose, to have lost my map. As uh, it's being dragged away, you That's see like biggest s- concern. singed yeah. smoke coming off the edges of the backpack. Might want to get a fireproof backpack uh, <laughs> in the future. Good idea. Uh, all right. And uh, you're able to pull the pack away. Uh, give me, let's see. Give me a higher low roll, Nohu, to see if this is potentially high. an impact. Anything in there? Hi. Hi, hi, hi. All right. What do you have in your bag that's flammable, my friend? Mm, you got your giant map, you got scrap, you got spark power, you got med kits. Uh, water, obviously, is not going to burn. Old the old empire. clothes, okay. rations, out One, two, three, pen, four, five, well coin, the map, a lot of... Uh, right. Well, no, the scrap, all of it was left behind. Spark give me, powder. Give me a d20 roll. Eight. And we'll see what is impacted by the fire first. Uh, some of it did end up inside of your bag, burning a small hole through the backpack. So we're going to see what is hit. That is, uh, <laughs> you smell the scent of bacon wafting out of the bag as his rations are burned up. 
Uh, you've lost two rations, so you can take oh. those off the sheet. But um, you've you've charcoaled some of Stella your food. Stella actually eats them. Stella eats them. Yeah. That's making me hungry. All right, and Nova, that's your turn. Saving uh, impermanent Terrible explosion. Terribly bacon. Clay, give me a tough roll. Seventeen or higher, please. What did you say about me? But a plus oh, three. Oh, that was your action using Stella for the full action. 12, 13, 14, exactly 15, 16, 17 is exactly uh, it. Uh, yeah. Clay, stay stable. Clay, give us your most pained groan yet. Oh. <clears throat> and know who you are up. All right. Time to, well, saute some mushrooms then. I'll give <laughs> my, a claw attack over to the mushroom in front of me. All right, and you are blazing on fire, so go ahead and make your attack roll. And give him a hug. The opponent gets a 10 to defend. You get an 18 to strike. You hit. Go ahead and roll for damage. So the damage of your claw attack and your fire damage. Right. Nine points from PDO and another three from the fire. Uh, there is a screeching noise. The smell of roasting mushrooms starts to float through the air as you are able to stop this one from moving appropriately. And it just seems to, to go out. Ah, oh, man. All right. I'll do it. it ready. Off. Already uh, uh, another my last action to do another strike when another one of those mushrooms like comes to me. All right, so you're waiting on the other one. Yep. And we move to Clayara. Your turn. You seem to have distracted them. Uh, they they they're almost done putting out that fire on the other end of the room though. Hmm. They are. Are they? Well. Hmm. Well, we've learned how far things can get thrown without abilities and that's not very far so that's probably not a good idea i think i'm going to use inconclusive insight because i want a clue or hint as to how to keep these things off of patchy and clay long enough to get them All right inconclusive get, get insight where they need to go comes to kiara this giant creature and whatever these other things are kind of, it's like the white blood cells of this creature. They're designed to clean up, to bring it food, to make sure that danger is out of the way. You do know that. If there's a big enough source of danger, you can keep them drawn off a long time. That's all you get. Okay. I still have, hmm, okay. Um, I think for now, I have to just get myself in a little bit better position. So I'm going to come down here so that I can cover Patchy's uh, path down towards the lab here and right. scout out here. You move down in that direction, and uh, there doesn't seem to be anything else down there at the moment. All right. Understood. And we move to Kaizen. Kaizen, you are a ways off, uh, but where? what are you doing at the moment? To... Introspection. Introspection kicks in, and you wait story of my life <laughs> all right the big thing nearby and the little ones the little ones move over to stomp out the fire are they successful no yes fire is stomped out and then knowing that that threat is gone the next one turns and begins moving towards the newest threat as it rushes over towards nohu you get to use your action to attack in as it comes up on you these things are all making those weird squelching noises as they walk. Nice, 22 versus your opponent, getting a 15 you hit. Go ahead and roll for damage, fire, and weapon. That is a total of nine, 15 points, and suddenly this thing blazes out too. Uh, in the distance, that large creature begins moving a little bit more. The next one comes, rushing towards you. And then it tries to just slam you with that huge bulbous body, bulbous body of its... And uh, there goes the roll. This one got a 23 to hit you. Nice and your defense is the same. So your armor protects you from that attack. Question. Yes. Uh, since he's uh, attacking me and I'm on fire, would mm -hmm. that affect him? 
in that uh, um, in that case, or it's only on a hit? It's only on hit. So you you got out of the way. He was unable to hit you. Got it. All right. Uh, the other two have done what they're going to do, and noting that there is a threat nearby. Let's see. The big creature down below. I now roll to see if Kaizen is recognized again in the area. Still doesn't seem to be paying attention to Kaizen, but um, as these creatures are falling away from it, you see it begin moving, and it starts marching forward a bit over towards the large fire that the little ones seem incapable of putting out, where it then swings in with one of those large legs and just <laughs> tries to stomp the, the fire out. Oh, boy. All right. The opponent gets a 16 to hit you. Versus your 18. 18. Again, you're able to dance out of the way as no no who continues uh, avoiding these attacks. And then it is now Apache's turn. I'm going to try to swing all the way to the, the, the lab with clay strapped on me. Let's Grab go, your... Spider Skixkin. Spider Skixkin, give me an agile roll as you attempt to fling... We'll go, Fling some of this uh, spinneret webbing against the ceiling and use it to swing your way across the hall. You get a five. Dash. Um. Oh, you're gonna ace that. All right. And you get a fifteen this time. You just whoosh, whoosh, stick the the ceiling, jump up, and begin swinging. Uh, that will now give you eight move instead of instead of your base move as you swing. So move eight distance away. And I'm in the, and I'm in, and I'm and I'm above. So these things can't get me. Well, I mean, the big one could reach you, but the other ones wouldn't be able to. Yeah, but, the, but I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a, like a little, little spider mouse. This is, this is the can. It doesn't have to pay attention to me. I, the fact that I'm steroid up, it doesn't mean anything. Right, give me your, uh, your eight movement. Is that, That's no, five. That's five. Ooh. Seven. Four. You got uh, one more you can move. I said one more you can move, sir. Not four. What? You said I had... Uh, no, no, you I, had eight I, move I, I, total. I eight move total. There you are. So you swing over the distance with clay on your back, and then you see that massive mushroom in the other room. Uh, give me a brains roll as you swing past it. Nine. Not enough to recognize anything. Unfortunately, Wait, if if it was a ten, would I recognize it because of the plus one we got? Given no, given ten earlier. would not give it to you. You need a sixteen or higher. What about? I your know virtue? my mushrooms. <laughs> no, I I need my virtue to save. Clay. Wait, do we have time? We don't. I mean, I it's mean, the end of the episode. So. Oh, fine, time. it will be. What? We are at the end of no, the episode. I, it would be wise for me to know what the fuck this mushroom thing is. Uh, sure. I'll give it to you just because I'm being grateful. Or I'm, I'm, it would be you know a, it would have been wise of me to know all the details about this Vincere laboratory research shit and the stuff that can happen and, and you know, uh, and to record everything I find and also, yeah, I'm a chief scientist of the Vincere. All I right. know this shit. Go ahead <laughs> and give me that. your reroll then. Yeah. I'll let you do that. A nine again. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately, that wow. looks like you're not you're not getting that this moment. Uh, we will be ending at the end of this round. But, so. But I was it, my 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 eight was my for, for my first move right my first action. Don't I have another thing? The other thing was attaching. Two? You were attaching the line to the ceiling, and then you swang. So, uh, next next time you play, when we come back, you can launch yourself off of your, your rope and go further as well. Uh, Nova, you are up. Huge thing, a bunch of little things, know who on fire, all of them seem to be attracted to him. So this rainbow on my gun. Yep. Oh, gosh. It, what? I, um, I want it. Is there, like, is it obvious how to use it? Uh, it seems to be moving around the barrel back and forth. Do you think that when you fire, maybe it'll trigger it? Okay, I want to fire then my chaos 
small, my pretty rainbow gun, it lights, so it's light, right? Like, mm -hmm. this makes sense without, you know, spectrum, like, you know, science words revolving yeah. around that. Um, mushroom doesn't like light, right? So I'm going to try to fire this rainbow that Nohu so nicely put on my gun at Mr. Big Shroom. All right, you turn, aim, and fire. Let's see if you hit it. Roll your attack. How does one roll that attack? It just counts as your regular weapon attack for uh, for your revolver. That is a 14. Ooh, critical failure on the point of the enemy. You hit it dead center. Uh, I will give you an option of either doing extra damage if it causes damage or allowing you to re-roll the, the chaos effect that happens when I roll. You know what? Let's just go with the whole extra damage thing because we're at the end of the night. Let's just go balls to the wall. All right. So this does trigger as it fires in this rainbow bolts just flooding around it. You see the barrel of your gun just burns out and well, explodes. How did I have a rainbow gun? Kind of uh, similar to like you know, Looney Tunes style when the shotgun explodes, the tip of your barrel just bends in different directions with the shot. And uh, oh, no. as it strikes the so, enemy, Mom, it doesn't do a chaos effect? It does. It's a chaos effect. The target oh, becomes right. highly magnetized, reducing their defense against all metal weapon attacks by minus four to the next five minutes and causes attacks against other targets within range one to be redirected to them. Uh, suddenly Perfect. this thing becomes yes. far more likely to be hit by everything, and your bullet strikes true. Go ahead and roll damage, Nova, at times three. Ooh. 30 That'd points of damage comes in. You blow a huge chunk out of this thing. It squeals and screams in pain, and as a reaction to your attack, being a nemesis enemy, these large thorns sprout upwards out of its side, and you swear you see hypodermic needles inside of it as it turns and fires one at you. <laughs> oh no, hypodermic needles. I hate hypodermic needles when they're not mine. The opponent gets a nat 20 hospital, to hit Nova. You know, like sedentary. What? 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 <laughs> Nova, nat 20 coming at you. You can only get another nat 20 against the enemy in order to avoid the attack. Oh. I mean, unless someone makes the GM re-roll, is that a thing still? Nope. Well, I mean, with money, but, you know. <laughs> um, okay, what am I rolling? Defense. I just got scared. Defense? Yes. You can do it. Or that not. is not a nat 20. Oh, I'm going to re-roll because I got one from Big Sherry's thing. You do? All right. Oh, I'm going to waste all these because it's very improbable that I'm going to get that. Um, I keep Might forgetting well where my defense is. Huh? Might as well use your virtue as well. It's uh, another free True. Arrest. It's true. Nope. Okay, That's not I'm going to use that, that virtue. Uh, it's very courageous that I took the enemy's ire Wait, from my People friend. are asking how many bits to make uh, Ty reroll. We should add that before bits this next one. I for a, think. For a, a lot GM of bits. It's 100. Actually, it is 100 bits for a GM reroll as part of the. I've got it listed down below for anybody that sees yeah, the bit costs. That's a lot of bits. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to do courage. Could, could I? That, no, I could. I have one more ace. Uh, I have last coffee beans ace. So okay. let's have. Let's use that. Ah! Uh, I have to reroll. Reroll. All right, here I go. when I meet you. The opponent gets, uh, instead of the nat 20 from before, they have a 22 to hit you. So, uh, Nova, we can start That's over the beginning. not a crit. You can start I... over from the beginning, since this is a reroll, and you'll have those aces back, since you wouldn't have had to use them against this particular okay, roll necessarily. Well, I'm gonna do Yay. You said 22? You have to beat a 22. Okay, well, that's my courage. First one. That is an 18. You have two plus ones, do you not? Yeah, but that still only puts me at 20. Yeah, okay. No, and I don't have two plus ones. I use those. All right. Well, there we go. And that is not a 22. Oh, I'm fine. I'm it's fine. not a critical hit this time. So that does uh, change what the outcome might have been. 
That's fine. As this spike flies in Please towards you. Period, I probably would have exploded and I appreciate not dying. It slams into Nova right in the right leg. And as it smacks into you, you see the, the tip of it penetrate through the armor and shatter away as a needle from the inside goes and sticks in and begins spreading something. Your leg begins hurting uh, rather seriously, and we'll see what happens with that in a moment. However, you are still going to take damage from this attack. You get eight points of damage to your right leg, or you can... Uh, take a wound? It would be four points with your armor. No, this is armor, armor piercing. So yeah, it would be eight damage, or you can take a wound. I take a wound. All right. Right leg takes a wound, and that puts you at two wounds now. I have two wounds? Oh, oh Nova! You got five 100, so I think that's five aces that were just sent to you. <laughs> okay, this is... All right, I'm going. It's the end of the night. Thank you. That's... um. Just roll them quick, oh. and if one of them counts... Oh, that one right oh, there! No, that, one. that was I it! I give my aces to everybody else! Everybody now I'll has an that. ace spread to them oh, from uh, from Nova's oh. good fortune there. You don't take the wound. You don't take okay, the hit. Coffee Bean's okay with it. He's also getting a kiss, what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that, that needle and that hypodermic smash into the wall nearby. As they spread, you see funguses sprout. There's some in my body! And we move down to Clay. Clay, give us a tough roll. All right, here we go. Plus three. Plus five total. Critical failure. But I have a ace that you said I had. You do, you were given an ace. That I can use. So I'm gonna. Failure. Just a normal failure though, we take that. Clay now has five wounds. Play, give us your I'm about to die growth. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be an injustice for Clay to die right now? No, I mean, that doesn't have anything to do with justice. That's just natural selection. Hey, that's no, arguable it would, philosophically. It no, would be no, injustice. No, it would be a huge injustice for Clay to die hey, in the service Patchy, of trying to find a shelter not, for a dying you. village. This isn't you uh, doing it. It would be an injustice for Patchy to get off scot-free after killing Clay. <laughs> I mean, but that's... <laughs> I did not kill Clay. I did not do any of this. I did not responsibility. Excuse Clay me, you're carrying a chemical you that. could save his life with right now. No one knows Does that, it? first of all. And also, you wanted us to come here, so don't give me that shit, Ty. You wanted us to come here. You wanted us you to come here. You were coming so sooner or later anyway. No, anyways, no, 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 no. I, Clay, I, 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 Clay, I, Clay, Clay, give us... Has one more. You do have, you do have one what? more race. You do have one more ace. Because oh, last coffee oh, yeah, being, I can't oh, take yeah. five aces. So oh I, yeah, I'd be happy to roll. roll. That's still nope. not high enough. So, uh, so yes, give us your simple. best. Um, I'm about to die. Groan. Uh, well, it's <laughs> charity. <laughs> As you see your wife standing before you, Clay, waiting. You say you see her just turn to you, just another step, honey, just another step. And she raises her like leans and brings her hand down towards you. If 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 if. And from that point, we move on to the if final. If I notice this, I give him the thing. I give him the fucking cure for cancer. The final. No. You're swinging in mid air right now. He's on your back We're, at this, this moment. Yeah, and, and I have and I have two other uh, fucking limbs. The only thing what left is uh, Kaizen. He's got a hands free. Kaizen, it is your turn. Uh, you have done introspection. You've waited until the end of the round. You have all of your bonuses at the moment, and you're the last one going. Well then, um, let us do. I'm going to lunge forward, and we are going to leap in the air. It's going to be Flash of Red. Whoosh. Now, you can't go straight through this creature. It's too large, but you can go across the edge. Yeah, so I just want to leap up and try to hit it in its core as best I can. All right, and where are you going to try to end up at? Three squares away. One, two. Well, let's see. If I kind of jump above its legs, but underneath its lip. That's Ooh, four. Right. Wait, well, back it up one. Ah, it won't back up for me. Yep. I try moving it one more time. Yeah. 
There's an ace to Patchy. All right, so you go over there, you find yourself completely underneath this thing, you try to slash through. Give us your attack with Flash of Red. All right. The opponent gets a 17 to defend itself. Okay. Oh. Critical. Well, let's use an ace on that. Failure. <laughs> all right, all right. Guys, are everybody's rolling so great tonight. So great. Nice! That one hits. Yes. All right, give us the flash of red damage. Since it is the end of the round, it's all going to be triggered at the same moment. Okay. That is three damage from that. Plus your weapon and your d6. Okay. My weapon. Let me click it, computer. Come on in, click, Lil. Damn you, Spence. Click, damn you. Why is it not working? Why does it hate me? There you go. And roll your d6. Yes. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 points of damage as you just zip past, as you shear uh, one of these legs, creating a large trail of damage in it. The thing turns with you underneath and brings down its legs as a count or as a reaction to try to squash you. The opponent oh. gets. A 17 to strike you. Okay, so I'm going to use my handy dandy rocket bow and launch back over to Nova. Uh, okay, that's what you're attempting to do as a defensive man maneuver. I'll allow you to do that, but you need to roll your defense still. Got it. Uh, Patchy just got an ace i believe with the yes from Mac i let him know that uh, unfortunately oh, you are oh, you turn on these jets you go to move and the pin the the uh, leg just ace. pins you you're gonna ace that ace. all right yeah let's not do that Tyson. seven 17 or higher damn That's it not high enough ace. you are slammed into the floor <laughs> okay then go ahead and roll critical failure kaizen Fine, I will accept this critical failure. <laughs> do you wish to do something that, that will make you? Do you wish to do something it's that compassion. will make this <laughs> this creature stronger or cause more damage to you? <sighs> cause more damage to me. All right. As its foot comes down and slams into you, the rockets on the bow, you try to trigger them and charge them, they explode. So does your bow and it causes extra damage to you Not as well. my bow! <laughs> this is enveloping damage total coming to Kaizen. Oh. Kaizen takes 25 points of damage. You can mitigate it by five points for each wound or impairment you choose to take. Uh, you only have 16 health, so where, do you, where would you like some wounds to go? Uh, let's do, I guess, all of my limbs. <laughs> All right, 5, 10, 15, 20. That leaves you with 5 damage. Do you want to just take the rest of that? Or do you want to take the damage to the head, too, for the, for the wound? Actually, you know what? Remove some wounds and bring my core health points down to 2. All right, oh so uh, yes. you're going to be taking 5, 10, 15. So that's 10 points. Oh, one more wound deck. There you go. 2 health. No, you'd be at 1 health. One health. Oh, joy. You Fantastic. Have two wounds and one health. Okay, I just Boom. made friends with the god of life and death. So. As we see this thing stomping over top of Kaizen, we see this explosion go off. Kaizen's arms kind of mangled, his bow destroyed. The creature looms over top and raises up for another attack, which would surely destroy this poor individual. And. The scene fades to be continued is shown across the screen as tonight's episode of Dreams of Silver and Stone come to an unfortunate conclusion. Thank you all for watching tonight. Perfect. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves. We're going to go around the table. We're going to say our goodbyes, probably for the last time for many of these characters. And uh, Whoa. we will, we will, uh, let's say, what is one favorite memory you have of of Clay and Kaizen, just to make sure, in case they die, that they know how you feel about them. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna start this off with Clayara. 
Rob, yes, where can we hello. find you and uh, give us your fondest memories of you and you and and. Uh, well, Kaiser. I'm not going to give a fondest moment for Clay, the character which I play <laughs> um, um, normally, uh, but for Kaizen, I mean, first of all, just the, the the endless well that is crack jokes. I mean, we love those, uh, but also I just really do appreciate um, the amount of... Uh, reasonable person and compassion that he brings to this party it really like thinking about all the different times that um cousin has been a kind of guiding source of maybe less <laughs> um uh and also i really really enjoyed when uh cousin let kiara go in the crack because then it did all sorts of fun drama and that was just <laughs> that was just fun uh, but when I'm not Clay, Kiara, or Clayara, um, or my character who I'll play next uh, in two weeks after Clay dies, um, I'm Robbie Rolling. You can find me as such on Twitch and Twitter. Uh, this is my current only stream, but um, you can see me here uh, and all over the community. So just look look out for me on the discords and uh, things are coming down the pipeline. It's, it's an exciting time for uh, RFKS. It is very exciting. I'm looking forward to all of these events, more shows, more people, more one shots, all of these things coming yes. soon. Uh, moving on over, Steven, where can we find you? And uh, what's your fondest memory of Clay? All right. I am El Deviant Devil. You can find me across the social media platforms. Uh, and you can find me here Tuesdays hosting Roll Charisma with the lovely Shannon over yonder. I don't know which direction you are right now up here. And, um, I also can be found, well, for now, on Thursdays on this show, playing Kaizen. Uh, favorite things about Clay. I love how K Clay can be the sleaziest dick to people and just totally swindle the hell out of them, no matter how many riches or smarts they have, and then turn around. And truly my favorite part of him is you interacting with, what's the girl's name? I forgot the girl's name. Brownie. Brownie. Yes, um, that connection is, it feels real, it's fantastic, um, and it really, it's just an amazing element to that character that really shows the humanity and brings it to a different level where you, like, really love the guy. Otherwise, it'd be pretty easy just to think he's a sleazeball. So that balance that you've created with that character to really make him, you know, fully kind of fledged out is a... a Tremendous balance, and that is my favorite thing about him. <laughs> my camera decided to die. Bye, Tyson. So I will be invisible for just a moment. You're waving. Get it? Because there's waves. <laughs> and uh, we'll move on over to Sanan. Hello, everyone. You can find me here on Thursdays, and that's basically where you can find me in the streaming sphere. Uh, favorite moment of Clay is when Clay... It forced me to use uh, the cure for cancer, preventing me from saving millions to save his life because of stupidity. And uh, and also his friend that he convinced me to hire uh, wasted my time trying to save him by just hurling empty insults at me. So yeah, uh, <laughs> that was one of my favorite moments of uh, Clay. Uh, we could have saved millions, but instead we're saving Clay. Uh, while he's, uh, he's attached to me in a spider web bdfsm chainy thing um and favorite <laughs> uh moments of kaizen is just everything just ka ka kaizen uh just getting everything out of all my secrets out of me just like that and also just like i don't know in general um the very weird serene yet intriguing presence Kaizen has been which is why he won't die too uh, I I guess I'll waste uh, the other cure for cancer which is uh, Nova spit on him there we go <laughs> just bask in each other's fluids it'll be great oh uh -oh. gosh uh, speaking of basking in fluids we move on over to Stratfall <laughs> you know it baby uh, just uh, for warning know who's incorporated does not is not liable for any harm uh, 
made by any of the equipment used on it. Uh, otherwise, please keep uh, watching uh, all of our wonderful equipment and modification every Thursday. So you always know what's uh, next in line for being sold. Um, you have already seen the uh, wonderful Chaos Magic Gun, and the not so wonderful uh, like uh, rocket propel like bow, but that's the one out of three other guns that also had rockets that work perfectly. So, you know, there's a, a good percentage of, uh, of workability in there. <laughs> other than that, <laughs> I really appreciate uh, Clay's like smooth talk. We were simply like fumbling around last session without the only guy that is, uh, is the face of, of the group. So knowing that he has a, a good spot uh, in the in the team is uh, really worthwhile. While Kaizen, I, I really love how he bounces against everybody, but he needs he needs some some Nohu time. I feel like I want <laughs> to see how he he deals with Nohu. Nohu time. Uh, I feel like I jumped forward. Sanan, did you give us where we might be able to find you or some of the projects you're doing soon? Yes, here on Thursday. Right. And... Thursdays. Strat, same thing for you. You just find us, find same you here. Thing. All yeah. right, and Glitz, Shannon, your turn. <gasps> yeah, I'm Glitz and Gamer, and Tuesdays I do the thing with the Steven, and then Thursdays I'm the here, um, and then maybe other things that come up if if I can worm my way into them. Um, yeah, Clay, I was gonna talk about Brownie, um, but mostly I just like his swindling Celtic esque type accent um i want to like clay but i also find myself not liking clay yeah that was yeah yeah which yeah. i feel like that's what you're going for it's so just I, fair it's yeah. just fair like i'm like oh i want to oh no he's such a skis but oh, i love him but, oh he's so skeezy though like Correct. i just i enjoy and i enjoy that dynamic in a character um kaizen is nova sanity literally um so that's good to have um and there's a lot more to like their story and how they got there that we haven't played too much but um kaizen's definitely yeah nova's like probably literal sanity uh so <laughs> i appreciate that he's there and i really would rather you didn't die because i don't want to play nova batshit insane crazy well, hopefully just the a ring little will crazy make a cute Huh? <laughs> Hopefully the ring can help. Yeah, I can use it once an episode. Uh -huh. Please do not die, Alkai. Um, but yeah, that's me, and I love everybody here. And uh, I, of course, am Live and Star over on DeviantArt. No, I don't have a DeviantArt anymore. Live and Star on Twitter, and Live and Star Art here on Twitch, which you can uh, watch me play a game sometimes and do art stuff. And then I run this game, run the game tomorrow. Check us out tomorrow for Sparrows at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time as we have Big B's joining us that evening and uh, we get to see what kind of crazy nonsense uh, he brings to the party as well. Uh, other than that, you are all fantastic. I hope I don't have to draw new art and make new intro videos and everything soon, but we'll see what happens. I'm down for it, you know, so please don't die. But if you do, I'm excited to see what you come up with next. Uh, and we will be back next week to find the thrilling conclusion of this week's episode, uh, <laughs> which, uh, for those of you that, that didn't notice, uh, has, a, has a, a good name for it. Um, so, stick around for the raid. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you all soon, and goodbye.